Hello, friends and enemies. That's right. Enemies, too. Who are trying to triangulate our undisclosed location. You will never find where we are recording from. No intelligence service will ever penetrate our headquarters. We are underground. We're, we're in Pyongyang. We're in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Yeah. What are they going to do? Come over? Exactly. You'll never f- Actually, we are, we are underground under the stake hut. In maximum in security yeah, in Curacao. I think they upgraded. They must have. No. They, they're still there. As far as, the, as far as I know, they're, I mean, that's a nice hut. What yeah, they they're not. They, yeah, they, they, if they were fake, they would have moved up. You know what I mean? They would have gotten like a nicer hut. They don't forget their roots. Yeah, exactly. They stay true. Respect that. So anyway, welcome everybody to Leftovers, uh, episode 17. Okay. Um, how are you today, Hassan? I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing pretty good. I boxed a little bit last night, you know? You have a clip of it. Should I watch it? Wait, there's a clip of me boxing? Or, well, something of the sort. Oh, no. You didn't know this was out there? No, I did not. I probably look terrible. What is this, boot camp? You all are just boxing? Yeah, we were learning how to fucking duck and stuff. Yeah. So. And weave. I guess there's not much going on here with you. I had a really... For me specifically, I had a really hard time not exaggerating my movements because I'm just like, I've been hit in the face a lot when I was in college. I've been in fights before. You got punched in the face in college a lot? Oh, yeah. Why? Fucking, I don't know. What were you fighting about? The wild one, you know? I don't know. People, I was in New Jersey. Motherfuckers get crazy in New Jersey. Like, that, really? That's like a, that's like did, a thing. People did you like, beat the shit out of, any, of people? Because you're a big guy. Um, I've definitely won some fights for sure, but I always say like, you don't actually win anything. Like, even if you win a fight, you don't actually win a fight. You know what I mean? You don't actually win. I've seen win. people lose fights. And I've, I've lost fights too, for sure. Really? You got your ass I've gotten beat? sucker Damn. punched. I've gotten, uh, I've gotten like multiple people, uh, jump me and No, but wait, what's going on? Are you just like drunk outside a club? I mean, really, what are you fighting about? Um, it's usually stuff like that. Uh, I've gotten in a fight before for like people being homophobic. Dude. Oh, really? Yeah. But it's just, it's mostly just like drunk and stupidity, honestly. It, it, there's a lot of aggro. I didn't take that. I didn't person. take you for a fighter. I'm not. I'm not. You gotta at all. be honest. I'm, I'm not a very, uh, I'm a lover, not a fighter, for sure. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I hate fighting. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I personally hate fighting. But there's a lot of of uh, people inside of the state of New Jersey that love to fight. Sure. Especially when they, you know, when they get drunk and they get angry and they're like, "Fuck, man, I live in New Jersey. I hate that shit." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, box me, bitch. Yeah. I mean, the last time I was in a fight was fifth grade uh, next to the wall ball court. We got in a fight over who who was next. And he put me in a headlock and started punching my head, bro, like unexpectedly. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it was hardcore. I was like, damn, it's just wall ball, dude. Chill. Yeah. His dad I, probably beat him or something. Most likely. Yeah. I don't know. I just... Don't fight. It's not good. It's not a good idea. Um, unless you're doing it like uh, like boxing for, for cardio and stuff, in which case it is great exercise. I mean, I got my ass beat last night. Not literally, but, you know, cardio-wise, it was great. Well, today we have kind of a mega episode about Ben Shapiro and all the guys at the Daily Wire who have been on an absolute tear of homophobia and transphobia. These yeah. men are... They've been killing it. There's something going on with them. Like, what... Where is this coming from, guys? I, I think they're just... They just stand bigotry. Like they're they're just like overall like bigotry weebs. You know what I mean? They just like we've this is our moment. Like bigotry's back in a big way. I mean, it never kind of went away, for for the most part. But it was like unacceptable to like be overtly homophobic until until recently. I would say. No, they, now they, they're like, yeah, oh, finally, dude. They're bringing it back. Yeah. Actually, I and and you guys will notice in the title it says you know Ben Shapiro is a manlet or whatever. But let, let me justify that before anyone gets angry, okay? Ben, let me show you. Ben Shapiro, f- uh, full body. Because the thing is, we love our <clears throat> short kings here. Uh, we have nothing but love and respect 
for the short kings of, of, of the world. But these are manlets, and it's important that you know the distinction. He's yeah. not just short in stature. He's short in, you know. I'm a defender. Secu- yeah. I'm a defender of short kings consistently. A short king uh, champion, if you will. I'm a champion of short king's rights. Uh, I, there's, a, there's a clear distinction between a manlet and a short king, for sure. <clears throat> Um, Damn, where'd this photo? I had a photo of like. Shouts out to Cody Co. Noel Miller. <laughs> Dude, you got You don't got to name and shame them, bro. It's not even. Wait, why would I? But they're kings. Okay. They're literally. So I don't. I don't okay, so it is like well, what are the? Sh- Wait, is Noel short? No, yeah. Oh, is he really? Yeah. King, huh. short king. The short people tend to flock to each other. I've noticed. I wish Just, they flocked to me. Like I want to. I want to carry him around. You know what I mean? Oh, see, that's demeaning. No, I, I want to put you. I want to put you on my back and just, you know, that's, baby Bjorn. That that's demeaning. No, 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 dude. All I, I'm. T- can you guys find a picture of? There was a picture of Ben Shapiro, Matt Walsh, and that other goon. What's his name? Standing next to each other. And by the way, Ben Shapiro's sister is kind of hot. Abigail Shapiro. Because oh, I type. I get started. I, st- I type Ben Shapiro full body, and all I see is his, is his sister, who's like. Oh, no. Wet ass p word. Uh, Giving me a little bit of a wow. I don't want to talk about Abigail Shapiro. Shapiro. Wait, God no, damn. this isn't. Re- damn, she got some mommy milkers, bro. Okay, okay, let's not, let's not, let's not get in there. Let's not go there. No, okay. Ethan, Ethan, it's not a good, that's not a good space to be in. <laughs> Wait, why? It's just because I mean, you know, sometimes you know when something is true, but you just don't have to point to it. You know, it's like that. Wait, why don't we point to something that's true? It's just it, we don't need to talk about. It. I mean, yes, she's a very attractive woman. Um. Uh, 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 that's crazy because she well, looks so well, much like Ben. Well decorated. I mean, yeah. Also taller than Ben, which is interesting. Yeah, no, she got all the she got all the good stuff. Wet ass p word. Can I just uh, say real quick? Um, I have seen about six or seven chat messages, and somebody just sent me a screenshot as well. I think because we have Daily Wire in the title, everybody's getting Daily Wire ads on this. Episode nice. Right well, that's now. great. So They're this, paying us, and this, nobody. This episode, nobody's clicking that. Right. This episode is brought to you by the day. No, <laughs> every one of my videos, I think they like. I don't know what it is, but I think they just like bought out my entire channel inventory or something. <laughs> they, every one of my videos is like Matt Walsh ads or Daily Wire ads, which is so funny. That's so interesting that they have apparently found that it's worth it to promote their channel to, across I think they YouTube. Have so much money, they don't give a shit. Yeah, it's possible. Like they're just like, we are gonna flood the market. Um, can uh, where did I find that photo? Nobody's got me. I mean, it, oh yeah, this is it. So, again, <clears throat> just to address the manlet thing. So here's Ben Shapiro. As we know, he's like what four nine, <clears throat> like five two, five two. Candace Owen. So what's interesting? And Candace this, Owen's not allowed to wear heels in the office. Right, 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 right. She flat soles only. Yeah. They're like, come on, Candace. Don't. And then what's this guy's name? He's a, he, these guys are all so hel- hateful. It's incredible. I mean, this is like a, that's, that's mainly an <clears throat> American fascist conference. Uh, that's Michael Knowles, who I uh, debated uh, on Fox, <clears throat> like on the local Fox News. He's uh, a real piece of work, too, eh? Oh, yeah, he's great. He was like, <clears throat> he was like a big, like, advocate for, I think he's like an anti-vaxxer, too, uh, which is not that surprising. Uh, the only person the Daily Wire team is that's uh, like, kind of lightly pro-vax is ben everyone else is like pretty much on that anti-vax train too but That's he was awesome. like definitely heavily be like you know anti-masking at yeah. the time here's jordan with his son uh his great admirer ben shapiro yeah fuck you and then well stop jordan we're see but that's a so this is a great example right like because uh, your height doesn't define uh, you becoming a, a monstrous piece of shit. No, no. Because no. like Jordan Peterson apparently is tall. Yeah, and also right. That 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 that's our point. We're just yeah. the thing is, and Matt Walsh, he's actually just five four, but he's hulking over these other guys. So there's something about going on at the Daily Wire. These are manlit, and I want you to understand the difference between manlit and short kings, and that's why we use the term manlit, right? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your support. There's a, yeah. We love all of our short kings. Sorry, Danny DeVito, Peter Dinklage. Uh, who else? I mean, there's a lot of short kings. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, look at this. Here's ads that you just got this, AB? Yeah. Oh, my God. I didn't realize putting Daily in the Wire, Daily Wire in the, in the title just gets us paid, bro. <laughs> I just want to point out, look at those eyebrows. Yeah, there's a whole eyebrow conspiracy, too. Yeah. Ben Shapiro. You think he paints it? Yes. 
He's got like a like an Anthony Davis thing going on, even though he's Anthony Davis' natty. Well, there's clear. Actually, we have evidence of the eyebrow conspiracy, because there is clear before and after evidence that I'd like to present to you. Okay, I would like to see this. That shows that Ben Shapiro does in fact. Yeah. Paint. People say we don't do investigative reporting on the leftovers, and they're wrong. <laughs> okay, this is this is it. This the New York is Times is crying right now. Yeah. They could never. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, in the meantime, I can't believe Ethan Klein scooped me on the eyebrow thing. Fuck. <laughs> no, he's fucking yeah. done after this. Um, as you guys are, do we have that in the doc? Or you rec- I saw that somewhere. It was. Uh, it was in the doc last week. Let me. Uh, <laughs> let me dig it up. Anyway, as you guys find that, um, let's just pull up some top of the show goodies. For example, Elon Musk, who is now the uh, prominent oh. conservative thinker of the oh, world, this. has endorsed. This lady, uh, Republican candidate uh, named Mara Flores. Yeah. And he voted for her, first time ever voting Republican. And just to put it in context, she is a, um, she is a QAnon person, an anti-vax. So, um, there's so many goodies in that, in that little Twitter thread where he's like responding to people. But, like, why are you even being like, oh, my God, this is the first time I voted for a Republican? You're a billionaire, dog. You literally have given hundreds of thousands yeah. of dollars to Republicans across the fucking board anyway. Mm. Like, who gives a shit if you're one singular vote for a Republican? Like, yeah, okay, sick. Dude, he's such a fraud. Like, he goes, I'm, bu- I'm buying Twitter, and I'm going to ensure that it's not a political body. Meanwhile, he's like, I'm voting for this QAnon conspiracy theorist. Massive red wave 2022. Let's go. So that's Ron what DeSantis. I'm, that, no, no, no. That's perfect, though. He said, remember how he said, I'm going to do a, in that Twitter thread, he talks about, I'm going to do a pack for like moderates. Yeah. He wants to build like a moderate pack where centrist. And then he says he's going to vote for DeSantis for president. It's like, <laughs> you just gave the game away, dumbass. You can't just say like, oh, that, that's what this is. Anytime someone says they're a fucking moderate on the internet or anywhere else, okay. If they say they're a centrist, understand that they're just center right or far right, and they're just lying to you, and maybe even lying to themselves. Okay, because what the fuck is moderate about Ron Death Santis, <laughs> who like literally sick the Gestapo on his own uh, scientists in the Public Health Administration of Florida for like releasing actual COVID fatality numbers and shit? You know what I mean? Or Ron Death Santis, who's most notable for. Uh, I don't know, like murder gay teenager bills and shit like that. <laughs> it, it, like that. Well, don't say gay. Yeah, is that? But but the thing is, the problem is, Ron, Ron DeSantis, who's obviously a a hog in his own right, is um, he's moderate compared to Donald Trump, who's just an unhinged. Fascist. But he's not. But he's not. I don't think Ron DeSantis is moderate in comparison to Donald Trump. I don't think, I think Ron, Ron DeSantis for example, is, I don't think Ron DeSantis would try to overthrow an election. I don't think he'd do that. You are so wrong. Really? I 100% think Ron DeSantis I don't think so. Would, I, don't, I, think one I don't think he would be percent. calling like the Georgia like Secretary of State or whatever and being like, I need to find 7,000 votes. No, he would be more petty. Republicans have stolen a Florida know. election already. That's how George W. Bush became president, famously, yeah. uh, in the aftermath of the Brooks Brothers riots. The people that were involved in that, three of them that were tangentially involved, now sit on the Supreme Court. Three lawyers that were involved in the Brooks Brothers riots and the subsequent uh, Supreme Court decision that came down, three of those lawyers are now in the Supreme Court as Supreme Court justices. This has always been a Republican strategy. Republicans don't want to win elections. They don't give a shit about that. They just want to... They want to game the system as best as they can, or even outright sidestep Congress in its entirety. Um, and I do think that Ron DeSantis, if push came to show, would be even scarier than Donald Trump because he's, I think, more competent than Donald Trump. I, I, I hear you, but I don't think he's as overtly fucking psycho as I don't know. Donald we, Trump is next level, in my opinion. We haven't said, found we haven't found a politician that like captures the the attention of uh the voter base in the way that donald trump does that also simultaneously is competent because his donald trump's incompetence kind of makes him like an outsider Mm -hmm. which is also the reason why people like him you know what i mean some people in his base like him um but as far as like uh you know being a vector for all of their anger and frustration directed at the exact same villains that the republican party has been directing their attention to Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis are the exact same. Gay people, 
immigrants, uh, poor people, homeless people. Like these are these are considered uh, the the main enemy of the Republican Party in perpetuity, uh, and and that's it's that's the same enemies that Ron DeSantis uh, also has. Ron DeSantis famously remember uh, overturned the the results of the Florida felon voter restoration uh, ballot measure that passed in Florida by a wider margin than Ron DeSantis did, like mm. win uh, the gubernatorial race. And he overturned it. He, he instituted what is known as a poll tax, basically, in the state of Florida for felons who were, for the first time ever, going to be able to vote again. And he said, you can't vote until you pay all of your debts to uh, the courts. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That's, un- that's illegal, isn't it? I mean, that seems unconstitutional. It's, it's a poll tax. It is precisely... That's what, what I mean. Is. Poll taxes is like vestiges of Jim Crow. It does exactly what it is. Well, here's Elon Musk saying, I'm thinking of creating a super uh, moderate PAC that supports candidates with central v- centrist views from all parties. What he means by that is people from both parties who will not increase my taxes or and will not regulate how I treat my employees. Which, by the way, ironically, most... Both parties are not going to do that, so don't worry about it. He basically just means anyone who's not AOC or people that actually care about workers' rights. Yeah. Speaking of workers' rights, I should mention that later in the episode, we have um, one of the workers from Starbucks who uh, union, unionized, participated in the unionization of Starbuckos, and she's going to be calling in. So there you have that. Um so I have the update on Ben Shapiro's eyebrows, okay? All right, let's see. So this is the hard-hitting <laughs> stuff that people come to expect. Excited. All right. <laughs> this is breaking news. So we have discussed, just guys, just uh, how am I supposed to find this with peace and love? Thank you. Yeah, that's why I didn't send to Discord, is it? Okay, so as you can see, his eyebrows are very, very thick, very caterpillar-esque there. Yeah. In that shot. That. But if we go down, this is in, this is, you know, they're not as thick there. Now, he has thick eyebrows, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But there is a distinct difference between those eyebrows, and go up, please, and these eyebrows. 100%. He laid it on. He laid on the, the, he colored it in way too much. Now look at this. This is just out of control, my dude. He is trying to look more masculine to make up for the fact that he's 4'9". I think, I don't, I don't think he can grow facial hair. That's why he's just like trying to improve wherever he, he right. wherever the there's hair game. that he could grow on his face. But now here, not as even, not as filled out. Yeah, yeah, it's not as thick little, there. Little gap there. Right? Yeah, I yeah. Think, uh, don't you paint it? Like you can paint it. Right? That's what he does. That's what he does. Uh, but go down now. In. Now here's little Ben Shapiro. Little Ben. Normal eyebrows, but he's a yeah. child. He's a child. I mean, he's playing the violin. Maybe like the more racist he got, the more powerful his eyebrows <laughs> got. You ever think about that? <laughs> That's quite like, possible. When he, was a, he was a kid, like you know, every he time was a Tchaikovsky g- or whatever, he was like, he was like not racist yet. And then he learned about like how racist he could be, and then his eyebrows started growing. <clears throat> it's it's rumored that every time a gay kid gets beat up, uh, Ben Shapiro gets a new eyebrow hair. Yeah, he's just like he's just growing more powerful every time hate crimes are happening. But now look at Ben Shapiro here. He's a grown man, eyebrows not as distinct, not even close. And I'm sorry, but since I graduated college, my eyebrows have not gotten thicker. They've stayed the same. It's true. Yeah. I mean. And then go or okay. Here's the alternative. So now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go on. So take a look at this one. Take it in. Now go all the way back up to the top, Dan, to where we are today. Oh my God! That does not fucking add. Okay, up. ladies and gentlemen, I rest my case. Okay, I have an alternative theory. Ben lost in the in the height department. Yeah. In the gene pool. Yeah. So. You know, it, it beefed up his eyebrow stats. So instead of growing, because he can't grow since fifth grade, like the Daredevil, only thing that's grown is his eyebrows. Like Daredevil, he's blind, so his ears turn super yes, hearing. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what I mean. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah, he's got 
super powerful eyebrows. His height stopped his growing. Is, uh, his dump stat in D&D. Yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. It's his superpower. I don't know, bro. Those eyebrows are... That's some heart... That's some... Uh, goddamn Steve Harvey's mustache be sitting over his eyes. It's just... <laughs> He looks like Eugene Levy with those big ass eyebrows. He 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 has like one of the eyebrows is like larger than the other, so that I don't know what happened there. That is a very strange thing. Yeah, that one is like bigger, right? It's like thicker. That's the reason. <clears throat> I mean, good for him. Like you know, he, I th- I don't think he can grow facial hair, so he's just like trying to grow eyebrow hair, and I, I respect that. Good for him. But uh, so and then there's there's again these people we we're talking about today are are like. I mean, the worst, hateful, fucking disgusting beast who walk this planet currently, more or less. Here's Lauren, Lauren Boebert, who had a big scandal actually come out. We'll talk about that. But, you know, in the, in the wake of this horrible shooting in Texas, as we're all familiar with, uh, gun control has been a hotly debated issue. Here's Lauren's take on this. On Twitter, a lot of the, the little Twitter trolls, they like to say... Oh, Jesus didn't need an AR-15. How how many AR-15s do you think Jesus would have had? Well, he didn't have enough to keep his government from killing him. So- That's right. <laughs> is she oh, doing? Is she the doing a bit? Is she doing a bit? Yeah. Jesus was Last- supposed to die, you dumbass Christian. He wasn't supposed to overtake the Romans. That's the whole point of the whole Jesus story, you dummy. I, I love that. I love that she's at like a Christian gathering, and like they even they were like, they're "Okay, like, what? Lord. Yeah, they're like, I was Whoa. a little bit of sacrilegious, uh, you know, hubris right there. What the fuck was that? Also, like, she's I, like she did a Jeb Bush please laugh moment. Yeah, was she like double take? Eh. Totally, please eh. laugh. <laughs> yeah, we got a sound bite that by the way, Zach. Please laugh. Okay. Yo, but it's like. G- that's God. He could have. He didn't need the air fifteens. That's what they're thinking. They're like, yeah. "How dare you question the power of Jesus?" No, I love that. It's just, but it's perfect because I mean, obviously, she's joking. It's like <laughs> such a bad. Tr- it's such a bad it's one that like just, no people don't even laugh at first, and then they're like, "Oh fuck, we're supposed to clap at this one." Okay, all right, Lauren. Yeah, but it's good to see she really filled out the seats there in the at the Christian camp, the Christian hate camp. Um. I love that. I love this take. These are these are unique takes, and I, as a, as a man who looks at takes every day for a living, uh, I I do appreciate it when they go buck wild like this. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm like, well, I've never heard that before, so I I, I like it. So I celebrate Lauren Bobert for that one. I love that. Yeah. He just said that. I do. <laughs> yeah. So Lauren Bobert, who is one of these just terrible, terrible new con- like neo conservatives who basically just run solely on hate and ignorance. Uh, this year she got, or this week she got called out by these guys called the muckrakers. And these are the savages, and I don't use that word lightly, who literally destroyed Madison Cawthorn for humping his cousin's face. Cawthorn, yeah. Cawthorn, so sorry. So Muckrakers PAC, uh, Muckrakers Pack <laughs> is uh, a group of like real agro liberals, right? Look at this that, is the most the the face of the most savage people on earth. Go ahead, Hassan. I just wanted to tee this up yeah, while you talk about that. Imagine getting owned by these guys, bro. They look like accountants. <laughs> look at this savage. Go ahead. Yeah, I didn't want to. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I just wanted to run this. No, no, no. I I, I respect that. So Muckrakers Pack is like they they remind me of like Bush era liberalism, where like they were way more combative. Even though some of the dudes I think on there are like ex conservatives too. Which they're they're kind of like doing a Lincoln Project thing, uh, in some ways. But you know they're they're doing a good job. They're like completely fucking psychotic, and I like that because one, first they're not training their sights on the left like the Democratic Party often does. Because the Democratic Party usually is just only brutal to the left and like treats the right with baby gloves. You know what I mean? They're like, mm-hmm. oh no, like oh uh-huh, let's not offend the right, like. Um, these guys are like, no, fuck that. We're, we're doing the same shit that Republicans would do. Uh, so it's about time, I think. Like, they're, that they're, well, uh, there's a, like a psychotic fucking pack that's just bouldering these weirdos. And let's be honest, you know, when you look at, like, Democrats who got canceled, like uh, Al Franken, who literally had to resign in disgrace because of some dumb photo he took. Yeah. Uh, this, on the meanwhile, is actually... Juicy for the reason that Lauren Boebert is like a painful fucking disgusting hypocrite 
She's against. But for the record, I don't believe the, the allegation. You don't? Oh, no, I don't believe. I mean, it can't. It is. It, but they didn't miss. The scope of reason, especially like knowing what I know about Lauren Boebert, which ironically, this pack didn't actually show too much of, which is like the real verifiable proven things that she has done that are like incredibly strange. Um, well, her husband's a sex offender. We know yeah, that. Yeah, her husband is a, well, her husband is not just a sex offender. He also beat her. Um, oh, well, that's normal. they got that's, married. Yeah, that's normal when, yeah, where they come like from. Basic, yeah, this is basic shit from Rifle, Colorado, baby. Uh, but her One husband, third of all cops. Her husband was 24 years old when he whipped his cock out uh, at a bowling alley and, in front of minors, and Lauren Boebert was there Yeah, as a minor. As a 17-year-old. And, oh, that's uh, the beginning of a nice love story. Yeah. So he was like, yeah, I've got a dick tattoo. Like, and then he just whipped his dick out. And, you know, the police came and they arrested him. <laughs> that's the awesome. For like uh, four days. Um, that's not featured in here for some weird reason. I don't know why. Because I feel like that's way, way more. Um, I mean, th there's, there's proof. Well, hold on. So well, the allegations are. The thing is, I, I, I like to pretend that I, I like to believe it just because these guys didn't miss with. Madison, but they allege, okay, that she was a paid escort on a website called SugarDaddyMeetNut.com. Now, there's nothing wrong with these allegations. It's only, uh, it's only juicy because she is a family values Christian who wants to outlaw abortion. Because it also alleges she had two abortions, one which at, was at Planned Parenthood, which is which if is true, makes her. A fucking absolute monster trying to remove the right for other women to get abortions after she got one from Planned Parenthood. But I'm hoping, Hassan, that they've got more in the pipeline because they did the same thing with Madison. Yeah, they did a drip. Yeah. yeah. So, so I'm hoping they have more supporting evidence here. So those photos that they're showcasing. Yeah. Right to say that she's like sugar daddy. <laughs> uh, the reason why this could potentially be true, even though I don't believe it is, I don't think there's enough evidence at this moment for it to be real, but um, the reason why I think that it could be true is because she's on ExploreTalent.com, which is an aggregator of uh, all these other like modeling and ne uh, modeling networks, and uh, it's something that like everyone in America that ever wanted to like be in Hollywood has participated in in some capacity. I know this is, I've been living here for 10 years. Like all my friends have like explore talent, you know, probably like old ass explore talent, uh, pages, right? She had one as well. We looked it up. It's on the Wayback machine. Uh, these photos are taken from the explore talent. Uh, oh, so what the hell? I feel a little clickbaited because so it's, it's a, it's a modeling website, but I mean, this does, I, I could see her being like a, you know, I they've got more like the, a white trash uh, escort doing well, doing stuff like that. Yes. Well, then the best part about the allegations is that apparently, again, alleged that Ted Cruz fucked her. I don't believe that. Come on, it's no, Teddy I, boy. It's no. too good. No. Ted Cruz, I feel like Ted Cruz, he looks like a melted candle wax. Like his penis probably doesn't function. Bro, it, it does. Like, he shoots lava out of his cock instead of semen. Um, no. So the thing is, like, they when you make out that. with uh, Ted Cruz, he just he just oh. he passes tonsil stones to you. Oh, you remember when he spit oh. a tonsil stone out during the debate oh. and it sat on his lip? So when he makes out with you, it's like a bubble gum machine for oh for God. tonsil stones. <laughs> Ted Stop Cruz it. probably, uh, like, I mean, this is nasty as fuck, but let's just go with it, I guess. Ted Cruz probably tastes like like the acid reflux, like all the... Right. <laughs> just you, you bile. Make out, you make out with him, and, it, and his stomach acid is so powerful, you have acid reflux forever. <laughs> Love that. God punishes you for kissing Ted Cruz in the mouth. That was not something you were supposed to do, okay? Yeah. And you deserve it. <laughs> That's true. But I will say, this is the worst website I've ever seen. One of them, since like the 90s. I'm not sure what the yeah, fuck is wrong with I these know, guys. It, it was driving me nuts when like, I was like, like I love this. <laughs> yep. There's fucking I mean, boomers. The, the logo? <laughs> guys. They're saying she's trash. But anyway, I'm hoping there's more coming out because I am I want this to be real so, so bad. So, but like, there's there's real stuff there. That one of the funniest uh, things <laughs> that they uncovered, which I do 100% believe, by the way, is the uh, the quad incident. She's in Utah. She's driving a 4x4 with her <laughs> right. uh, child and her sister-in-law. She's drunk, allegedly, gets in an accident, 
and then bails, which is ironic because that's very similar to Madison Cawthorn, <laughs> who also famously got into a car accident and then bailed and then, uh, or rather was saved by uh, uh, one of the people in the accident and then lied and said that, uh, you know, they, they left him behind. Well, we heard from a uh, friend of the show, PMP, the TikTok lawyer, that the best oh! advice is to, is to run if you get into a drunk driving accident. So that was actually a smart move on her part. This Wait. is what you, if you make out with oh, Ted oh, Cruz, God, you can no, get a little no, taste no. of uh, America's Finest. I mean, he's I'm, I'm not wearing my he's glasses beautiful. for the rest Who doesn't want to kiss that man? <laughs> I, I'm taking my glasses off. I don't need to see. I've it's seen a too freshly much. baked tonsil stone for you to suck I've seen down, too baby. much, dude. I don't want to see any more than I have. Oh, oh come God. On. He's beautiful. Stop it. Yeah, so she hit and run, and, and she left her. Yeah, she got into a drunk quadding accident, which sounds so It's fucking... already white trash as fuck. Sounds like something Keemstar would do. Which, by the way, is sick. Like, I love quads. I love the white trash shit. Like, I'm a big fan of all the white trash activities. So that's why I'm saying, like, this sounds exactly within the realm of reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, there's nothing... There's nothing more like conservative uh, middle America than fucking leaving your family behind after <laughs> you uh, cause like almost vehicular manslaughter. How is that middle America thing? Just leaving your family to burn? It's just, I think that's like a classic Lauren Boebert thing. Like I could see her doing that. I want to put that on all of middle America though. Some people are just, you're right. Some people are just pieces of shit. And they exist I mean, Ken everywhere. Kennedy did that. He fucking, so, le dude, that was one of the great Kennedy moves. Yeah, so some people are pieces of shit. I'm just saying that, like, I'm saying that doing it in a quadding incident. The quad is, yeah. Makes it so, like, yeah, the quad. perfectly uh, piece of shit middle America. <laughs> if it was in, like, a Kennedy situation, if it was in the fucking back, uh, if it was in the fucking backseat of your, like, Mercedes that you yeah. dump into the fucking river, then it's, like, very, uh, it's, it's more of a bicoastal elite thing, you know what I that mean? Was, that was a great one. Um, drunkenly crashed into a lake, bailed, and the girl dr inside drowned. And yeah. Left her there to die. Fucking that's, awesome. That's bicoastal elitist uh, piece of shit activity. Oh, and then the other great thing about the Kennedys... Uh, their daughter, the youngest sister, was too sexually active, and they fucking lobotomized her. You didn't know that? What? Yeah, they fucking lobotomized her, dude. Wait, pull that up, dude. They, you, you didn't know that about that? It's so good. I no. She literally, was lobotomized because she was what too promiscuous. But okay, now I gotta put the glasses back on. I gotta see this. Okay. Let's see. Uh, here, lobotomy. Go, go to number two. Bro, yeah, so, according to Rosemary, uh, oh, sorry, zooming in. According to Rosemary's sister, when Rosemary returned to the United States from the UK in 1940, she regressed. She later stated that Rosemary became increasingly irritable and difficult at the age 22. Um, okay, this is saying that she was just like irritable and difficult and even violent, and that's why they lobotomized her. Rosemary was sent to the Covenant School. Rosemary began sneaking out for girls' nights. The nuns at all the Kevinists thought that she must be involved with sexual partners and that she could contract a STD or become pregnant. Her occasional erratic behavior uh, f frustrated her parents. Her father was especially worried that Rosemary's behavior would shame the family. When Rosemary was 23 years old, doctor told her father that a form of psychosurgery known as lobotomy would help calm her mood swings and stop her occasional outburst. Bro, how wild is that? The doctors were just like, we need to plug a hole in your fucking brain but she was literally just a young girl who was going out having fun and they're like this girl's going to embarrass our family we need to scoop out a part of her brain yeah that's so insane. there's the kennedys for you we went through the top of the head dr watts recalled i think she was awake she had a mild tranquilizer i made a surgical incision in the brain through the skull oh it was near the front it was on both sides we just made a small incision no more than an inch the instrument Dr. Watts used looked like a butter knife. Oh, my God. He swung God. it up and cut down to the brain tissue. We put an instrument inside, and he asked her to recite Lord's Prayer or sing God Bless America or Count Backwards. We made an estimate on how far to cut based on how she responded. Dude, that is so fucking medieval. When she became medieval. incoherent, they stopped. Terrific. So, so they said, okay, once she can no longer um, verb speak, then, then we're good. We're, we're basically turning her into a vegetable. Dude, a uh, and, and no offense to vegetables. Why was she cooperating? No offense to the incapacitated. Dude, that's fucking crazy. I don't think she had a choice. 
Also, they probably lied to her, just like, this is just a little something to help with your mood swing, sweetie. And then they took a fucking ice cream scooper to her brain, bro. Oh my god, dude. I can't <laughs> believe that was like a medical thing that people were doing. Like, that's wild. Yeah, it's 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 really disturbing. God damn, dude. Well, you know, in, in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, that was a very uh, accurate uh, depiction of the time of what they did. They fucking lobotomized and you. And then they institutionalized her after. Yeah, because, well, she's in, she's... She's a vegetable. Yeah. She's all the basically patients. like brain dead. Um, Ugh, it's so disturbing, like how they had her talking. And then once it quickly became apparent that the procedure had not been successful, Kennedy's oh, no. mental capacity diminished to that of a two year old child. She could not walk or speak intelligibly and was incontinent. Awesome. Good job, guys. Great father of the decade. Jesus Christ, dude. That's yeah. So, so there, I mean, so him. that's the fam, the Kennedy family. Those are the, the darlings of the liberal or whatever, I don't know, but they're all demons. You're probably triggering Cam so hard right now, by the way. Why, because he's from Boston? Yeah. Sorry, Cam. <laughs> Is, are you okay? I think I'll make it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's one of the worst things I've ever heard. Yeah, I just, I... I'm speechless on this. <laughs> this is not... Uh, I, I, normally, I would, you know, come in quick and be like, some people deserve to get lobotomized, actually. Like, if you're fucking one of my haters on the internet, you probably need one of these procedures. But, like, even I, I'm shocked. I can't even say that right now. JFK got lobotomized eventually, too, right? Oh, that's fucked up, bro. Technically, Whoa, yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah. This procedure yeah, definitely didn't work, though. Like, that one, that one Actually, failed. the only difference between JFK's lobotomy and... Um, his sister's is his was a little more uh, precise. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, she by the way, Rosemary died in 2005 at the age of 86. So she just lived like oh. that for so many additional years. Wow. That's crazy. Whereas JFK's lobotomy instant. Yeah. Like, Out of his pain immediately. Yeah, boom, done. One and no, done. She probably wished she got JFK's lobotomy after Living that long. I don't know. I mean, dude, that's so... That's just, like... I don't even know at that point. It's, like, so torturous that, like... Is it even torture? Do you even recognize uh, Who, who knows? But, but You probably I, successfully killed someone. There's gotta, life. there's gotta be some level of awareness that... Oh, she God, used to be normal. I, I don't want to think about yeah, that. Yeah, no. Jesus Christ, dude. Holy fuck. We are so... <laughs> God damn, dude. We are so nasty and gross like human beings are just so awful well ba back in the day that was a treat oh an accepted treatment for for homosexuality was it a lobotomy or castration chemical castration uh, uh the uk chemically castrated alan turing famously mm -hmm. yes yeah, so, and then he killed himself but that so so for me that kind of tells you all you need to know about like the transphobia now today you know, uh, gay people have been fighting for their rights now for decades. And just recently, it's become somewhat accepted. Obviously, still a bunch of loathing from the conservatives like Ben Shapiro and his manlit crew. But what you're seeing is back in the 50s and 60s, people fucking despised homosexuals. They thought it was mental illness. They were lobotomizing them, castrating them. And that's what you see with trans gender people today it's the same fucking thing it's so obvious yeah. and it's the same conservatives now who are like if these people are mentally ill this is child abuse this is whatever whatever it's the same fucking rhetoric they used in the 50s and 60s that we all now well, look know, back with the disgust. 90s, honestly like yeah, the, the, you're right you're right you're right yeah the homophobia stuff is just like it was uh it, it, it was popping like in the 90s even um, very true and very only true. only like only in the aftermath, I would say, of the Obergefell decision did it become, like, kind of normalized for a little bit. That's when you started seeing, like, you know, uh, cis white gays be like, I'm a Republican, actually. You know, shouts out to Dave Rubin. Like, Love that for him. Like, I'm a yeah. log cabin Republican. I'm just, like, a straight Republican Republican, <laughs> you know? <laughs> um, and then now, uh, the conservative movement is, like, rushing to immediately roll that back. Because if you take your foot off the gas, because we take progress for granted, we always think, and I, I myself included, I'm in this, uh, no matter how pessimistic I am, I still think that progress is inevitable, right? I think no matter what happens, like the next generation is going to be a little bit more socially conscious at least, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and that's not the case because the reactionary movement is never sleeping. They are constantly looking for any avenue they can to continue increasing the dial of brutality on marginalized people 
And the moment that you take your foot off the gas on the progressive side, the moment that you stop defending a particular marginalized group because you think, all right, we've established, you know, we have established some civil liberties for this group here, mm -hmm. and they can now be like a, a normal part of society and seen as like normal people. Boom. They're like, nope, we're back. We're back to it. Yeah. You're right. They took the uh, homophobic takes about like gay people being pedophiles, gay people being groomers, groomers people yeah. being like morally degenerate, and, and just copy pasted it to trans people in the mm -hmm. exact same mm -hmm. fashion. And now, you're watching them roll that back with like the don't say gay bill, basically fucking stating that like uh, any kind of mention of a gay couple in, in, you know, in the media is actually just grooming. You're like grooming people. Which is so crazy for so, like, first of all, I mean, the people who are really grooming kids are at your fucking Sunday school every week. I mean, let's be yeah. real. About who's grooming? Well, where the thread is at. The way I'm just use, being real here. The way that they use grooming is also so stupid because it's like they think education is grooming, and I guess yeah, if you want to like expand on the definition of grooming away from like uh, you know grooming someone to engage in sexual acts at an early age in a coercive capacity, then yeah, that's what they're using. Education it as. is grooming, and so is like you said, Sunday school. And that no, 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 no. no. I that's way. I didn't mean Sunday school. I meant. There's people there who literally want to fuck your kids. That too, of yeah. course, of course. You missed my meeting on Child that Child marriage is like, you know, we got Warren Jeff defenders like Tucker Carlson out there running around saying like, child marriage is actually different than like, uh, you know, child rape because it's a lifetime commitment. You know what I mean? Like, he literally says <laughs> That's that. That's awesome. He has said that. Like, I, I'm not making this up. <laughs> lifetime, I'm that. a lifetime commitment. Yeah. But anyway, so so let's get into the Ben Shapiro Daily Wire. So Ben Shapiro, first of all, talking about like modern day homophobia, he is losing his fucking shit over a new Disney Pixar film called Lightyear. This movie was banned in 14 countries, including Saudi Arabia, UAE and Malaysia, because there's a same sex kiss. Now, if people tell you Pride Month is stupid and we don't need it, let me read that again. 14 countries banned this film for a same-sex kiss. Saudi Arabia, UAE, and Malaysia. Turns out Disney did actually remove the kiss initially, but it was only re-added once there was an open letter from Pixar employees demanding it be reinstated uh -huh. to the film. So, get this tape. Can I, read, can I read it in Ben Shapiro voice? Yeah, 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 please. Disney works to push a not-at-all-secret gay agenda and seeks to add queerness to its programming, according to executive producer Latoya Ravenu. Parents should keep that in mind before deciding whether to take their kids to see Lightyear, which hits theaters this week. Children are not adults. What may be appropriate for adults is not appropriate for children. That this must be said demonstrates that our society is in a state of moral collapse. So Yeah, dude. When I see a pregnant woman in a fucking, like, you know, in, in, in like, Rugrats or whatever, I'm immediately like, whoa, what the fuck? That means sex happened, actually. We need to stop that. I just I, don't, uh, I don't understand this conspiracy that it's a secret, it's a gay agenda. It's literally just one kiss. What, what the fuck are you talking, what is this secret gay agenda to make, to, to show real people doing real things? Like, I'm sorry to tell you, there are gay people in the world, Ben. Yeah. Um, the what is the point, agenda, though? Yeah, the entire point of it is like, well, here's the thing. Um, Conservatives want to groom their children, both literally in the way that you mentioned, like they want to. They want to fuck them. Do the yeah, do the child grooming rapes. They want to fuck the kids. They do, one hundred percent. Um, shouts out to Lauren Borbert who was seventeen when she started dating her uh, sex offender husband. Um, so they want to do that, but they also want to uh, groom their children into believing that like gay people don't exist in society. So that it is very deeply uh, uncomfortable for a gay person to recognize that they're queer, right? Like a queer person to recognize that they're queer or come out um, uh, out of the fear that like uh, they will be cast aside uh, and, and uh, considered morally degenerate. So that's the main reason why they don't want this to happen. They don't even want people to recognize that, uh, you know, there are gay people in society so they can keep up the lie for as long as they can. And it actually harms people demonstrably uh ben shapiro routinely brings up the trevor project numbers uh, uh basically a hotline uh, that works with uh lgbt teens that are uh you know at the verge of uh, suicide or or have, have tried to commit suicide like 
uh, and and he thinks that it's a it's a horrible place. I love it's a, that. It's a horrible, uh, you know, philan philanthropic organization. He goes, his his take is just let them kill themselves, guys. Yeah. No, he's. It's <laughs> That's insane. awesome. Lead with love. Please. Lead so lead cool. with love, just like Jesus. Well, Ben Shapiro is a Jew, but you know, uh, um, he, he leads with love. So. And. Basically, that's what it is. They think that, like, even if you mention or even if you show, like, a gay couple in a, a TV show, that means you're, you know, you're, you're grooming children. Because, like, they're going to see that and be like, oh, I'm gay now. That's what they think. That's the fear, right? But, that, but I that, mean. But that's a self-report. Like, that means you're gay. Like, that means they. You might they, be fucking gay that, then. Like, thank you. That means when you see gay people, you get turned on and you're scared. You go, oh shit! I'm getting tempted, 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 because this shit looks dope. And there's nothing, and there's nothing wrong with that. So they like, one of the main arguments always is like pointing to the rate of like uh, people recognizing that they're LGBT, like, and how much higher that number is. Oh yeah, now. they think the whole society's turning gay. And they say, yeah, exactly. <laughs> they they keep saying like the society's turning gay, but that's not the case. And there are similar examples of this throughout history. The one I always point to is the left-handedness uh, chart. Yeah. It's not like there's something in the water that made people left-handed. It's just that people stopped forcing, uh, you know, People stop forcing you to use your right hand. Here they it is. They thought that this was insane and outdated, so then it fucking skyrocketed. Yeah, there's about 12% of the population is left-handed. Back in the 1900s, they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they were trying to make everyone right-handed because they thought being left-handed was I don't know, not right. The devil. Yeah, whatever, mark of the devil. And so once people stop giving you social pressures to be right-handed, then the natural rate comes back up to 12%. It's the same thing with, same with homosexuality. Same with, same with children with autism. Probably a, the a same more, with transgenderism. Recent, yeah, a more recent example yeah. of it is is autism, right? Like famously, you know, uh, disgraced former doctor Andrew Wakefield uh, came up with the idea that vaccines cause autism, and that's why they should use his vaccine instead. That's a longer story. I'm not going to get into it, but uh, that really gained prominence that conspiracy theory really gained prominence and that's why people were saying like well the autism rates are skyrocketing currently well no it's because medical diagnosis improved yeah so we now know how many more people are actually on the spectrum and uh that doesn't mean that like something in the food is causing people to get autism or some shit it's just that we have better tools to figure out uh, uh you know when someone is on the spectrum or not um can but we do a so stupid? Uh, can they we use that idiotic? Uh, they they use their idiocy and the idiocy of their audience uh, as a, as a way to really hammer in their their agitprop. It's fucked up. Well, and the frustrating thing with these concepts is like it's been explained to them ten thousand times. It's self-explanatory. <laughs> it's obviously the truth, and then they they keep ignoring the basic facts of the matter to promote their propaganda, even though it's been explained to them ten thousand times, and I'm sure they understand. Uh, but yo, um, I just want to do a Matt Walsh, Matt Walsh fit check. What do we think about the glossy, bro? I, unironed shirt. I'm be honest, to like, the movie I hate, premiere. I hate the t-shirt. Uh, like it's so so difficult to pull off the t-shirt inside of your the blazer your look. Yeah, yeah, the blazer t-shirt combo is very hard to pull off. And Matt Walsh is not pulling it off. No. Okay. I'm not a fan of the glossy shirt. And that exactly. That's that's a problem for me. The the glossy shirt. Like, what are you wearing? Dry fit, bro? Is that Under Armour? Like, what's going on? And it's there? just so wrinkly here. Like, what happened down there, bro? It's just it's just a devastatingly bad fit. So that Matt. that's Matt Walsh at the premiere of their new movie. Uh, this is a movie. Is that his wife? Um, I'm assuming so, but I don't know for sure. He's like, I mean, he. Matt Walsh. I mean, he's not an unfaithful Jebediah. I'll tell you that much. He's not gonna be, he's not gonna be prancing around with another harlot. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, and then of course, A-list celebrities at the premiere of these of their. Now this is the premiere of their. Who is? This is Rob Schneider, of course. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Why is what is he actually at the what? He, well, he yeah, he's at the premiere for Daily Wire's new movie. He's actually he is a total shitbag. I don't know if you knew that about. I Rob did Schneider. not know that. Rob he, Schneider. Rob Schneider. <laughs> not only is he not funny, he's actually a giant piece of shit. Yeah. Wait, Deuce Bigelow, dude. He yeah. sucks, dude. He's what a fucking the piece of fuck? shit. I had no idea. I mean, I've never been like a. <laughs> you don't follow his career yeah. closely. The you're boys are gonna get really Schneider upset head. at yeah, the yeah, Rob Schneider head and, uh, and fan meetup. Don't worry. Yeah, I mean. You're not the only one that doesn't yeah. follow his career closely. 
<laughs> Wait till they hear about what Rob has been up to. <laughs> Actually, oh, no, dude. Not the, not the talented EGOT award-winning <laughs> fucking actor known for being a stapler. <laughs> From Ethan's favorite show, Real Rob. Yeah, that's one of the worst shows ever made. I recommend it. He tried to make a Curb Your Enthusiasm ask show for Netflix. That is the worst show I've ever seen. And it's just bizarre. Like, the whole show has a blue tint over it to make his eyes look more blue. I swear to God. It's just the whole thing. And it's just so bad. It's so dumb. Yeah, why, why, why try to make someone as hot as Rob Schneider even hotter? Like, well, because he, he's very insecure. He's married to a young beautiful uh wife he has in real life it's his real wife who's who's in the show and i think he oh a tweet from five hours ago from rob schneide yeah he goes 2024 president DeSantis gets get start getting used to it so dude i i i want team oh, DeSantis. I this. this is so fat this is great yeah no he's a piece of shit he is it's interesting Ooh, right rob schneider <laughs> rob <laughs> schneider that. as a raging homophobe. Dude, that's sick. That's fire. Wow. Uh, now so, it, makes sense. it makes further sense. He's just not funny. Yeah, his Twitter is all dog shit. Take, Damn, totally. your career, it does say a lot about how fucking hard you fell off that like you were, you know, like a relatively pretty famous actor, co comedic actor, I use the term loosely, uh, in the 90s and like early 2000s and like people don't even know that you've turned into a hog. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like people... Chris Pratt is popping, right? Mm -hmm. So when when he even says anything about like loving Jesus, everyone's like, "Wait a minute, is he is he also homophobic?" Because like he's popping. Yeah. Rob Schneider not popping. No. No one cares. No. Well, the movie I'm leading towards is Matt Walsh's huge hit documentary, "What Is a Woman," which was created with the express purpose of creating more transphobia in the world. The f documentary features Walsh asking what is a woman and related questions to a variety of people, including a pediatrician, a gender affirming family and a marriage therapist, a sex reassignment surgeon, transgender opponent of medical transition for minors. And of course, Jordan Peterson makes an appearance. It's just like. It's so funny when these guys are constantly like complaining about how liberalism, like go woke, go broke, is like ruining culture and like ruining Hollywood. And there is some truth to that. I do think that like, you know, you should let movies have like bad characters and I exhibit bad behavior. As long as it's a good fucking movie, like I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Just don't take my movies away, right? Um, and like the aesthetic pandering that you see in a lot of like Hollywood movies is like very transparent And I think people are waking up to that reality as well, especially because it like doesn't do anything to offer like It doesn't offer any like material restitution, right? And it's just simply aesthetic pandering, right? Um, however Conservatives then flip the narrative and do this at least like, you know, Hollywood makes an effort to be like more diverse and put more diverse cast members on and representation is still important, right? But ultimately the storylines are not all about like being woke or whatever. So why are they doing this? You're doing an entire movie that is just about being not woke, about being transphobic. And it's yeah. not gonna fucking work because you, uh, it's only gonna work with people who already are like sick, twisted fucking freaks who who want this content they're like yeah i can't stop thinking about trans people all the time it makes me so angry every they're moment, not every women. Waking moment they're not real women yeah every waking moment of my existence is like being angry at trans people. And, sorry not beautiful <laughs> yeah yes and, up. and and so like yeah this is for those freaks and it's for like a, a lot of people who then will watch this and get mad at it a lot of people i hate to say it but there's a lot of fucking people that are down with this shit like a lot Anyway, here's a clip from his film, which is pretty funny. He includes this conversation where he thinks he got the dub, but he actually looks like an idiot, Steven Crowder style. Uh, here it is. But this is kind of the craziness that is happening right now, where he's obviously getting owned, but he thought he looked good. And But it doesn't matter, because just like you correctly pointed out, uh, rigid gender norms are so deeply embedded in our existence and it's something that like a lot of humans uh, hold very near and dear to themselves and their entire worldview is constructed around them. 
So there's a lot of people who either never think about this. Look, it's not an attack on anybody's gender. It's just simply... <laughs> no, but, but people don't think about it, right? They think male, female, that's it. Everything else seems kind of weird, kind of strange. Don't understand it. Don't want to think about it. And a lot of people either go, okay, I don't really give a shit, whatever, let people live. But then there's also people who are like, no, actually, this is like hitting me in the face, and I hate that. They have a slant towards bigotry. So when they see stuff like this, it reinforces their biases. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and, and something that I always used to say, like, back, in, back when like, Donald Trump was trying to make an argument about like, how Obama flubbed the swine flu, mm-hmm. uh, he would always use this false equivalency. He would say, Obama failed with swine flu more than I failed with COVID. And he would bring up the numbers. But if you look at the numbers, actually, He's Obama all, fucking yeah. killed way less people with the swine flu than Trump did with COVID, right? Dude, there's a gajillion examples of that, yeah. But that's a, that's a false equivalence that like someone on the other side, the opposing side, would use against Donald Trump normally. But because of how stupid the audience members are, because of how stupid his base is, and how stupid we are in general... They, they don't care. It's just the virtue of Trump. By the virtue of Trump saying it, they agree with him, even if it's a false equivalence, even if the facts are actually not on his side. And that's precisely what's going on here. Because the people are already like predispositioned to be transphobic because of societal norms and, and how, they've, uh, you know, how they've developed, uh, they see someone make dumb arguments like this and just keep saying, what is a woman? What is a woman? Like a, like a fucking five-year-old that's what happened asking here. why 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 until you have no answer for it um yeah that's what and they happens. think it doesn't oh. matter it's good oh but yeah but the, the thing the thing that annoys me about this i'm gonna play it in a second guys i promise but the thing that annoys me is he goes it's like they pretend that the difference between gender and sex hasn't been explained to them in the simplest terms ten thousand times they just can't fathom that they act like they never heard of this thing before and they create all these documentaries just ignoring the simplest fact that gender and sex can be separable. Here is Matt Walsh getting owned. What we do in, in gender studies is not just reduce gender to what psychologists might call individual differences, but rather thinking about gender, and that's not women and man, but gender as a, as a social form, something that kind of infuses itself into virtually all aspects of social life. Let's talk about that then. Uh, Got him. I guess we should start with, we've got gender and sex, right? Yeah. What, what's the difference between the two? Is there a difference? I saw that in your questions and I thought, my goodness, this is what we spend an entire semester kind of thinking through. But what we tend to think about in the social sciences today is that sex refers to a set of biological characteristics and gender is a social construct or category. What I think is often misleading about that characterization is allowed to be sort of messy pause and for a second. This but is the most framing, fucked up part. Like he was actually giving a really thoughtful, dude, interesting explanation. This shit pissed me off, bro. Like he he literally goes up, takes time out of this dude's day to just fucking he yada yada explain to me this. And then he just cuts it. Like, he just cut his fucking descriptions. Does he know it owns him? There is no better example. There is no better example that, like, you are just in bad faith, not trying to actually uh, understand anything, and instead trying to craft a compelling narrative in the opposing direction than exactly what he did. He's basically like... uh... He start, take these dudes he's like, and anyway, I blacked out for 10 minutes like when that's he was why, actually giving me a good explanation. Like, that's why you got to keep her cool and just be like, what's up? Why are you asking? Is it because you're, is it because you're sexless? Is that what it yeah, is? Yeah, they'll use that against you too. There's no I, I, They will, but like there's nothing, there's no. They revel in bad people faith. In, it people doesn't matter what you People in the real say. world, you can actually have a conversation with. Of Some course. people are really too far down the pipeline. Uh, to, to legitimately have a conversation with when they become like debate perverts on this issue that means they like sought out these uh, this information that that reinforces their pre-existing biases right that's going to be really difficult but a lot of people are just genuine a lot of people are just confused and you can have a conversation with them I try to do this all the time on my stream as well um, and and you know they might even pop off with like a microaggression here and there but as long as you are genuine in your interest in learning and changing your attitude and changing your mind I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you all the way. I will explain it to you. I'll sit down and explain it to you. But professional conservatives like Matt Walsh are not in that category. No. You will never be able to convince them otherwise because they make money doing this. 
They make money and gain clout and fame and notoriety by cutting these kinds of videos. They're not there to learn. And as a matter of fact, God forbid someone accidentally learned something from this fucking video. That's why he cut the, the description exactly. down. Exactly. The guy was doing great. He was doing great, and he yada yada him. But let's see where it goes from here. And when you split them up into these wholly discrete constructs, study scholars, and... It He's basically like, and then he started getting on with all the bullshit. Yeah. But actually, how about gross. you just let the people list like it's this? So gross. This it's is incredible. So gross. This is storytelling, my friend. This, yeah. This is high-level documentarianism right here, dude. What the fuck? He's actually really smart and thoughtful, right? Yeah. Which, Why go to a professor and ask him a question if you're going to yada yada him? So here's what you're, it's nuts. Here's what you're supposed to do in a situation like this, like. If you're going to deal with a professional conservative or one that's like operating like uh, one of these professional conservatives, like LARPing like them on the Internet, what you have to do is learn all their talking points. If, first of all, I would suggest you not engage because you're not actually going to, you know, it's not going to be a productive conversation. You're not going to be able to change their minds for the most part. But um, if you are engaging with someone who is at least armed with some of the talking points of a professional conservative like this, you need to learn the talking points and figure out the most mm -hmm. effective counters are. Well, he did. And then they cut him. That's well, what's fucked no, up. No, he didn't. He actually gave a long... Who knows what he said? They cut his ass. I know, but he gave a long, thoughtful, academic answer. You need to do one-hit liners, like, when, when someone... When I, I don't like know. This, what's the difference between gender and sex? You have to have, like, a quick, marketable uh, think tank back talking I think point, that's, because that's that, how they operate. I think that's one angle that's good for someone like you. But this man, he takes what he does seriously, and Matt Walsh sought him out, an academic, for an yeah. academic answer. And he's trying, and what no, he's he... he's being abused for his yeah, nature. He's just, he thought that this was a... He thought that this was going to be an instance where he's, like, having a conversation with someone who is in, coming at it in maybe in good faith, like... Yeah. Maybe he had an opportunity to change his mind. It's, a, it's hubris. But anyway, he still owns him. Let's watch the clip. Really, more specifically, people who study gender and sex. We're not talking about sexuality right Teach. now. And the kind um, of academic universe that I travel in is that we see how deeply gendered ideas, um, cultural ideas about I masculine, they and feminine, maleness, and femaleness, both in humans and in lots of other animals. So, are gender and sex two different things, or? Well, I think that they, owned, they baby. Are... He might as well. He might as well have just been like, "I'm sorry, I wasn't listening." Yeah. Just and say they yes. Aren't. I'd be, I'm comfortable saying that gender and sex are, are two different constructs, but they're deeply intertwined with each other. We're talking about gender and, and sex, and there's a lot of controversies there. If we're talking about what, what are the controversies woman, there? There's no controversies there with, with gender and sex. You're you're talking about gender studies, professor. Like, what is the controversy, dumbass? This is his entire fucking life is like describing these concepts. Also, they, there's this implication that like this guy's wasting his life on this dumb shit. It's like. Don't you think gender, even outside your bigotry, is an interesting social science, like, to study that? No, because he, he, he yeah, I mean, well, technically he's doing that too, but just in the reverse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he doesn't recognize that he's doing that in the reverse. He's, he's, you're doing gender studies, bro. Yeah, you're doing, You're a like, gender, gender studies, studies professor, Matt Walsh. The funniest thing is, that is actually, like, a very weirdly fascinating phenomena where, like, Ben Shapiro and Matt Walsh know way more about trans issues than like the average person does they think about trans people more than trans people do you know what i mean like they're literally just like every day every waking moment they're like how can i find a different way to shit on trans people so like they have to study up on all the fucking trans shit that's going on they like mm -hmm. pay attention to the latest in in medical technology and shit just so they can find a new way to dunk on uh trans people has all of the male physical characteristics, so would that not be a male then? Couldn't, couldn't we plainly say... Did you just fucking hear what he said, you dumbass fuck? Yes, there's a... Yes, the sex is male. This person is a male. He's like, bro, I just talked to you for an hour. Why are you asking me this now? Well, wh well I guess it's, it's like, wh why are you asking the question? I think I, I, wa I want to understand sort of why that's so important. So if someone basically what happened is he get he they had a thoughtful conversation for an hour. And now he's going back to this absurd question and he's forcing him to get a little irritated with how purposely obtuse he's being. And now they're trying to include this to show that he's like triggered or something. Tells Just you. To, to sort of understand reality, 
you know? Well, I, I mean, I think when someone reality. tells you who they are, you should believe them. So if a person says that they're a woman or they're a man, then that's them telling you their gender is. I'm, I'm not so sure why, what social um, in, interaction. Now he's just being a dick, right? And yeah. this guy's getting a little, you know. No, he's doing the, so vegans have this uh, argument uh, down to a T where they do name the trait, right? Like it's, a, it's basically uh, a, an impossible argument to get out of. Where like vegans morally uh, on the on the right side, understandably, I I you know I'm with you even though I eat a lot of chicken, um, but they always do the name the trade argument, right? Where they'll just go, and and say like, okay, uh, name an a, a a single like diagnosable trait within humans that's like different than an animal, and it's like you're you're basically trapping someone. Then you can eat a comatose person, like you know what I mean? That's I don't know if you ever heard this argument before or not, but this is very common. So. It's like a trick. It's a rhetorical trick that you can apply in a debate. And that's what's going on right now. This is a hostile debate. He might not recognize it, but that is precisely what's happening here. So in order to defeat him in the marketplace of ideas, what this gender studies professor should have done is basically revert back to the name the trade argument to be like, you're asking me what a woman is. I've already described it to you. So now tell me what, what you think a woman is. Define a trait that makes a woman a woman and tell me how uh, you operate in the real world with that uh, definition. Because ultimately, um, there are plenty of, passing is not the end all be all of being a woman or a man, obviously, or being trans, but there are so many passing uh, uh, trans people, for example, that you would never, uh, uh, you would never turn and misgender because no one else in the room would understand that you're like actually referring to that person. Uh, I use uh, uh, Buck Angel as an example regularly. Once again, controversial figure certainly, but like this is a good entry point into um, this is a good entry point into the the conversation. Uh, usually with transphobes is to is to bring up Buck Angel, like a man that looks like a burly biker guy, mm -hmm. but is a trans man, right? You would never point to someone like Buck Angel if you have a photo, we can pull it up and go, hey, can you, in a crowded room, you would never point to Buck Angel and go, can you get my bag from that woman over there and point to Buck Angel? Like, if you were to say, can you get my bag from that woman over there, right, and point it to this dude, no one would understand you. Mm -hmm. Like, everyone would say, what the fuck are you talking about, mm -hmm. right? And that is, I think, a perfect uh, uh, way to describe how gender is and gender expression is basically an ongoing uh, and, and socially conditioned thing that we all uh, abide by. Mm -hmm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, totally. And, uh, totally. and people would look at you like you're a crazy person if you pointed to that dude and said, that woman over there has my bag. No one would understand that. No one. 100%. It's, 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 it's yeah, exactly. But the thing is, you know, these, these conversations could have taken place but we know Matt Walsh edited the fuck out of this by simply just doing like a time lapse over his, his talking. Would have to do with with maleness or femaleness that would. Well, be I'm not even talking about social context. I'm just I'm just trying to start by getting to the truth. You know. Yeah, I mean, I'm really uncomfortable with that language of like g getting to the truth again. In social why, why life, is why is that uncomfortable? Because that it, it sounds dick, actually dude. deeply transphobic to me. Yes, um, it and is. And, and if you keep probing, it it is transphobic. That's why it feels that and, way. Well, we're gonna stop because the he's assuming. So first of all, he he is doing the conservative thing where it's like, well, there's no uh, moral or cultural relativism, and that like there's only one true nature, right? And and. The irony, of course, is that you could revert that argument back to him and immediately be like, nature is gay as fuck, nature is trans as fuck, if you want to think about it from, like, an anthropomorphized perspective. And also on top of that, like, there's intersex people that exist. You know what I mean? Millions of intersex people exist uh, uh, on this planet. Uh, and that, like, if you want to even talk about, like, the biological aspect of, of sex, sex before we think about, like, gender, which is a social expression that you add on top of your sex, right? Mm, mm. Um, there's plenty of instances, even in nature, that completely abolish your perspective, that completely destroy your perspective. Mm -hmm. um, and that's, you gotta, you just gotta immediately flip it back on them. Like, the, the notion that, like, you think there is a truth here uh, when uh, the, the scientific community's consensus on biology or what you would consider biological gender or sex 
is not even along uh, is not even actually aligned with your uh, reactionary point of view. It's yeah. not. It is demonstrably false. He is spreading a demonstrable falsehood, and no fucking bio, uh, no biology professor, no actual scientist would ever agree with Matt Walsh's definition, with the exception of like the edge cases that are psychotic, like the anti-vax doctors and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it's just kind of sad because I actually feel bad for this guy because he thought he was having a good faith debate, and then. And then Matt Walsh just is being blatantly offensive and homophobic or transphobic. And uh, then he gets, he's like, yo, dude, what the fuck is this? And then Matt Walsh is just like, I'm just asking questions. Why are you so triggered? Yeah. He's, I fucking hate this guy so much. I, if I probe about what the truth is? You keep invoking the word truth, which is condescending and rude. Yes. I'm saying how to is, you. How is the word truth condescending? I, you know what you're doing, you little fucking bitch. Yeah, one You know exactly. He just explained all this shit to you, you dumb, goofy ass fuck. Mike, this dude's entire. Look at this. Know. It's like smug uh, rage comic meme right there. Oh, well, how is it being offensive? Yeah, no, he's like, I owned you, I owned you. Meanwhile, like, he gets offended at the existence of trans people, so... Like, Meanwhile, he's like, how did I offend you? There was a kid, there was a two ladies kissed in Disney! Yeah. Shut it down! Yeah, but you that's not cancel culture. But insecure like, that corresponds bitch to ass, position. loser ass fuck. Yeah. If I ever see you, Matt Walsh, I'm gonna... I gouge your glasses. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah, no, that. I will. You're gonna, you're gonna give him a little kissy poo. No, I'm not gonna hurt him. I'm not gonna hurt him. In I just, I think it's funny. You know in how my, you know how to get you no. to get Ethan. They're gonna fucking be like Ethan is being violent. Good, do it. <laughs> Let me explain what I'm threatening. Okay. It's rewind time. <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's funny when you try to eye gouge someone with glasses because you can't do it. As a, as a member of the. Four eyes community, I take offense to what you say. So I'm gonna do that to him. You're talking like a uh, Three Stooges style. Like, yes, yes, yes. Uh, 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 he yeah. doesn't need to do that because nice. he's yes, exactly. got the glasses. They, uh, can I yeah. try it on you just to show what I'm talking about? Sure, you can. You can eye gouge me if you want. Here, I'll put my hand up too. Yeah. So with the eye. <laughs> Break. Okay. Yeah. Get him like that. Fine. I feel attacked. That's what I did. I didn't. I didn't actually do your glasses. Yeah, th th those look nice, right? Uh, um, so, well, well to think, going back to the main point about Matt Walsh, though, is that like he is a hysterical person. Like these guys are fucking frothing out of the mouth all the goddamn time over like some of the most innocuous shit. Okay, trans people existing in society, seeing like a lesbian couple in a Disney movie, like. They froth out of the mouth when they see that. They get a fucking aneurysm mm. when they when they even think about like a, a gay couple or an, even in some instances an interracial couple existing, right? Um, so then them turning around and like finding ways to prod and like really frustrate people and then be like, why are you frustrated? It's so stupid. You're a silly bitch. Your no, entire existence is. is like being triggered all the fucking time. He Shut is. The fuck up. It, it, it's so true. Am I gonna get in trouble? Am I gonna get another no, strike because no, I'm gonna eye gouge? I think we may have saved it with the goofiness of the. That's what stooges. I'm saying. It's first of all, it's not a serious threat. It's just a goof on the Three Stooges thing. Okay. Watch the watch the clip, the 10 second clip. Yeah. I'm gonna eye gouge Matt Walsh. Yeah. No. They'll they'll fucking but cry. There's the clip right there. there. You just Matt Walsh it. would literally Matt Walsh would literally argue for like the the genocide of trans people, and then turn around and be like, I can't believe you said. Yeah. It's like, it's like first of all, me. you are literally promoting violence right now. Let's be clear. What you're doing yeah. is, is violence. And it's successful violence. That's yeah. the difference. It's like violence backed by the state that is aligned with the normative position that is transphobic. <laughs> so, of course, no one considers that to be actually violent uh, behavior. When you are advocating for, when you're advocating for insane controls on what women can and can't do on their own bodies, in the form of like abortion control, that's violence on women. Definitely. That's thousands of women that are gonna die. Forced they birth can't get is violent. To, yeah, the medical, because they can't get a fucking medically induced abortion, like they can't do that, so now they're gonna fucking 100%. die, thanks. That's violence. But no one sees it as such because it is Violence that is cowardly because it's backed by the fucking state and it's aligned with the hegemonic structures. That's cowardly to just like hide behind the state and be like, oh, I hope the big bad state hurts the women that wronged me by stopping uh, people from having sex when they want to consensually because like I just don't want that to happen. 
I want everyone to be in a trad uh, cath lifestyle, like what I think is the appropriate way. Like, fuck you. You're a piece of shit. You're not even fucking brave enough to straight up come out and be like, yeah, I don't think, I don't think women should uh, have sex, and and that's why I want to punish them. You just want to fucking hide behind the state, big daddy state, always. Same with this trans, uh, same with this uh, anti-trans shit, always. Except he's not even hiding it. He openly stated that like no one under no condition whatsoever in whatever age group should be able to get uh, HRT. He said that the other day, which is, you know, what? that's it. You're, you're openly stating that people should not get a medical procedure that is demonstrably good. They go, well, they go, you know, uh, teens and young adults who transition are far less likely to unalive themselves or do self-harm. He's like, fuck that. Yeah. Make it illegal. That's violence. Anyway, let's continue because this is good. But look at smug Matt Walsh. Why don't you tell me what your truth is and you're walking on 30 seconds more of the nights before I get up. What my truth is? Well, I don't think I really have a truth. I think that there's just the truth. Like the reality. <laughs> you just mask off, Dick. And no. so we should begin by trying the to truth, figure out what the, the reality. reality is. Uh-huh. And why are you concerned with when someone else tells you that they're a man, or even if they use the word male, why are you concerned with not believing them? Well, you keep bringing it back to, you know, how do you respond in a social situation? But that's what I do. I'm but that's what gender is. Well, yeah. right, that's, that's, that's what gender is. No, he, that's what gender is. That's what gender is. That's what gender is. Let's let it roll, because he actually owns him here. He's so stupid. He why do you keep going yeah. back to the social context of a social science? Yeah, that I'm, I'm literally a professor. Science. Of social science. Like, there is no, the, you don't fucking run around and, like, literally <laughs> demand to know, demand to get blood work so you can see the T levels of every single person that you're fucking interacting with to see what their chromosomes are, and then, like, put intersex people in a separate category if that's the case, too, because there's a, a whole different can of worms on that, uh, on that field as well. But, like, you don't do that. You just look at someone, and if they tell you they're a woman, you're like, okay, this is a woman. That's what normal people are supposed to do. When you told me your name is Ethan Klein, I didn't go, no, motherfucker, your name's not Ethan Klein. Your name is actually Ben. I decided well, again, your name is he, Ben, and I kept he, calling you Ben. That's he's, how it is. he's ignoring the fact that sex you can see, gender you can't see. There you go. Simple as that. It's been explained a gajillion times, and he's just ignoring that concept. Situation, but That's what I do. I'm a social scientist. Well, right, but we're in a university. This is a place of it's understanding like, truth, isn't it? Or I'm getting so Absolutely. I'm getting so we, mad. We, we, I watched, hold on, we gotta watch this. We gotta watch. We're never gonna already, get through like, this. It's literally like going up to a fucking quantum physicist and being like, "What you are studying, I don't believe in." Explain it to me, and then going around and being like, "Well, I still don't believe it." Actually, well, he, it's so stupid. He goes, "It's not the truth. It's like truth is subjective. Universities are place of thoughts." and experiments and exploration. So this whole notion is like, no, the truth is the truth. It's like, bro, come on. The truth is always subjective, you dumb, goofy, fucking nerd ass yeah, bitch. Like, yeah, exactly. Uh, and, and it is ridiculous. Even if there well, is a, the only he's people... not an objectivist. The person he's talking to is not an objectivist and neither is Matt Walsh, by the way. These fucking conservatives love being, uh, love talking like a postmodernist whenever it comes to like deconstructing certain realities. Uh, uh, all the fucking time, but, um, but, but they're not. You're asking someone who has a fundamentally different philosophy than you do and a different worldview than you do, who is uh, an expert in his own fucking field about their field and then trying to own them by being like, well, I know less than you in this regard and I disagree with you. But because so many fucking people are that stupid, they go, oh, yeah, he actually did do a great job here. Matt Walsh did present himself very well. Look at how triggered this, like, libtard is. Well, he's like, he was a dick to him. That was awesome. Yeah. But um, I think the whole truth thing is basically, it's all backed in religion, right? And all these guys are super religious. So anyone who comes out like, the truth is the truth. It's like, the truth is God made the universe, and we're all fucking God's creation. Yeah. It's like, well, okay, that's the truth you're talking about? God, God hates trans people, and he, he made, that was a mistake. Trans people was a mistake. Everything else is, unfall, infa, is infallible, though, except trans people. That was his one mistake. The truth, and so I'm a social scientist, and that's what I well, do. But you just said the truth is transphobic. The, that you would say, that you're, if you're saying the truth is that I get to say, you're not a man, show me your genitalia, that's transphobic. No, no, yes. I don't want to see anybody's genitalia. I, I, I just mean, no, yeah, he someone can make a statement about themselves that could be untrue. Like, for example, if I, if I were to say that I'm a black man. 
Bro, sex Fucking and gender. Owned. Sex and gender. Fucking own, dude. But I love, I love how he's like, if I said a black man, that's obviously not true to you. It's like, well, let me see your fucking 23 and me, bitch. No, you know what I love <laughs> about that, actually? Um, one of my favorite things that fucking conservatives do all the time is, like, they constantly claim that there's this phantom trans person that is going to, like, secretly not be trans, but then fake like they're actually trans, right? They always say that this is a very real threat. That's like oh, like the bathroom impact. hysteria. Yeah, like the bathroom hysteria is one where he's like, well, someone could say that they're trans just to go into the women's room and then do a rape. It's like that's illegal. That's separate. You can't just like fucking. What do you think? Like it's like it gives you a a, a barrier of so protection when you say you're a trans person. Yeah. Like it doesn't work that way. And that person could fucking lie and say that they're a trans person. It doesn't fucking matter. Or they could just go in the bathroom and do it. Yeah, exactly. Which they don't is what need... they do. Like, no, no yeah. rapist is like, I was going to violate the law for rape, but then I saw that fucking thing that says women only, and I was like, well, I guess I can't do it today. Yeah. Fuck. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter what so they're That's insane. Looking but like. Because they can't find people that are faking being trans, they will then become the person that's faking being trans, like Steven, Steven Crowder, Crowder. Or fucking that, that other, like, dude who did the deadlift challenge, like, Zuby or whatever the fuck his name is. Like, they always do this. They can't, they create this, like, evil being. They can't find that evil being in the wild. So then they become that person. He's literally just saying, well, what if I lie and tell you I'm a woman, right? There's actually, he's done this three different times. I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean loves, listen, cross-dressing uh, cross -dressing is practically a... A hobby for Crowder at this. No, point. I think it's a way of life. Maybe. I often say, I often say, drag is simply an expression, and it's not necessarily like a part of your sexuality. Even though it is like, uh, it, it is, it can be sexual in nature, and and it cannot be sexual in nature. It's a performance. But for Steven Crowder, I do think it's a way of his life. I I do think it goes way He's beyond committed. just a performance for him. He's committed, yeah. or you know. Whatever his drag name would be, her. But um, is, would be the proper way so, to gender her drag, her in drag. So again, but I I go back to this point, and it's so basic. Like again, you're just ignoring that sex and gender are separate. That's all you do. That's all they always do, and they act so smug about it. It's like it's my sex is male. Yeah. My gender can be whatever the fuck I want it to be. It's so obvious. It's so no, no, I don't want to see anybody's genitalia. I, I, I just mean. Yeah, he does. Someone he can make a statement about themselves that could be untrue. This like, is a lie. For example, this is a lie. If I, this is a lie. If I were when to he say says he doesn't man. want to see genitalia, he's lying. Why is he lying when he could says he doesn't you? want to see genitalia? Because that's the only way, like in Ohio, where a new bill passed in the Ohio State Legislature, okay, shouts out to Ohio trying to desperately become the worst state in America. Good job, guys, okay? You're fucking literally worse than Idaho. Think about that for a second, okay? Um, go Buckeyes. So in Ohio, they Whoa. passed a measure where, like, you could literally just say, this girl is trans, or this entire team is trans, and then they have to undergo medical procedures where a doctor needs to look at their fucking genitalia. genitalia. Like, they have to touch their pussies and shit to figure out if these young girls are fucking... Like, uh, assign female at birth or not. By the okay? way, I'm sure that uh, and all the right the people are going to be done. rushing into that position. That's what to I'm To be the saying. genital checker. All of a sudden, there's all these people from the from the church uh, signing up to be genital checkers at, at the, the school How gymnasium. Psychotic. How insane is that, bro? Like, you literally, in an effort to, like, what, dunk on the one trans girl that's, like, potentially, you know, not even fucking owning... Uh, in in like handball or whatever the fuck. She's Imagine playing. the one person they're like, "You look like a man, young lady." Yeah, and then they check, and she's like, "Oh, sorry about that." Yeah, no, that's literally, but that's it. That's what's going to end up happening, and that is the level of psychopathy that you need to engage in in order to like justify their horrific and psychotic world. I told view. you, conservatives want to fuck kids straight up. Boom. That's why on. he's like, oh, "I don't want to touch genitalia." I don't. Who said that? Who said that I want to touch genitalia? I've simply only defended the Duggar family uh, on multiple occasions. Just like because that. I want to fuck kids doesn't mean I want to touch their genitalia. Yeah. Gross. Yeah, it's great. All right, let's it's watch. Let's watch. We have to. We have to get through this. Would you accept that, or would you be skeptical? Well, let's Are see. You? But it's so stupid because you could have black heritage uh, in your genealogy. It's like, well, if you're going to lie to people and tell them you're black, why should they question that? The premise he's presenting is fucking so dumb. Yeah. Like, who would do that? You're like, no, I have so I'm, I'm part black. Uh, they'd be like, you fucking liar. You scum. Black? Just, are you African-American? Are you biracial? 
Yeah, exactly. You're okay. not obviously not biracial. That is such a dumb point. So he was like, I'm going to lose my audience if it's they find so, out that I'm biracial. <laughs> it's so fucking funny because this is such a dumb point. He's actually not smart in the, in the slightest. He's a moron. I think so. Yeah, well, you, you don't, don't think look so. that, and I don't think that's a... It doesn't sound like that's a genuine statement of who you are. Thank you. Yes. Okay, so that's my point. I, I could make a statement about who I am that's incorrect. Of course, I think it's well established that human beings can lie. Yes, yes exactly. I'm not even lie. I mean, I could just be mistaken. Okay, so, dude, he is so dumb that he thinks this is interesting. Yeah, no, you can be mistaken. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess this all comes back. Just this all comes down to really one question. Um, especially, women, gender, and sexuality studies. So, so what? What is a woman? Fucking slammed, bro. That dramatic pause. Let's hear. He, this, bro, he's late. This is it. This is the bombs about to drop. Let's hear it. For the record, I just want to point out oh. that you can do this. Five-year-olds do this all the time. When they ask you, like, why? 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 Over yeah, my and son over does again, it every fucking day. You have no day. fucking answer because you can't give the scientific basis of, like, how the world began. You know what I mean? Like, my son does that every day. It's like, yeah, and that's normal. You go, you go, uh, uh, uh the, the rose is red. Why is the rose red? Uh, probably because the light reflects and it's a beautiful color. To why? And well, insects are attracted to color because there's pollen there. Why? Well, you know, it's, it's like fuck you now, dude. Yeah, and after a certain point, you like arrive at uh, you arrive at like this this position where you're like, I don't have the answers for you, man. And 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 conservatives have taken that like five year old genuine curiosity sure. and made it their only form of argumentation. Which is fucking insane, okay? And it should show you how insanely stupid they are. But instead, because we're all fucking stupid, we think this is brilliant. Well, he's obviously the really smart guy. Like, looking at this, and Matt Walsh is a literal fucking barely literate buffoon ape. Let's watch. Why do you ask that question? Thank you. I just really like to know. He's you literally like a, a kid being like, why are you punching yourself? Yeah. Why are you punching yourself? Oh, uh, because like, uh, uh, I just wanted... I just wanted to slam dunk you. By the way, remember how, remember how I yada yada your, your scientific yeah. explanation? No, I just, want, I just want to understand why they don't want to be around me. <laughs> okay, why that's why. I want to know what is a woman uh, so that I can understand why they avoid me all the time. Right. So strange. Very true. I think the answer to that question is... Well, I'm, I'm asking. That's why I came to a college professor who, who's... Well, he already explained it, and you fucking literally jump-cutted through his explanation, you dumb fuck! Thank you. This is your... This is what you do. Bro, I just... It, what sorry, other it's so infuriating. A lot of like this, where you're where you're not answering, and I've gotten a lot of that. So I think it's interesting that you that you say that some of the people you've you've um, interviewed have been um, reluctant to answer it, and I think that has a lot to do with the way the questions that preceded it, and the <laughs> the way you. that you've conducted yourself in the interview. How have I conducted myself? How do you think you've conducted yourself? <laughs> <laughs> you just really don't want to answer the questions. Do you? Oh my god. No, uh, it's so uh, pathetic. Uh, 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 it's fucking so myself. fucking pathetic. He's answered uh, your questions in good faith, and you cut over it. You literally, you literally cut over him, and now you're being like, you don't answer my question. I mean, this man is a moron. Yeah, uh, well, it's pathetic. It's juvenile. No, it's like it's like fucking idiocracy. And where ben like Chip the only person with higher IQ is like considered to be a fucking psycho and a weirdo because everyone else is that stupid. And that's what the world and we're living. By in. the way, this is the great documentary. People are hailing this as an incredible no, documentary. Not. They are Ben Shapiro. But I'm they're saying beefing that up on the Republican no, side. I know, no. I know. But people do think this is good. Like Ben Shapiro, who's this great conservative thinker, published this shit changed his icon on Twitter to what is a woman, and they are taking this seriously. <sighs> I'm going to look something out while you, yeah. I, I came today very willing and, and enthusiastic yes. about answering questions about women and gender sexuality studies, which is so you wanted to, I do. You, you wanted to answer questions about women's studies, and so shouldn't the, the Here, first you wanna, you wanna answer know you something? should be able to Sorry, provide wait, is what exactly is a You want to know how fucking not relatable or not interesting this fucking dumbass documentary is, dude? Google Trend search, what is a woman? 
which is a universal search, like it's not exactly just this documentary, versus fucking Morbius. And you will understand yeah, that, well, like, no, this documentary didn't fucking pop off. Okay. Well, hold on. Morbius was, like, the top meme in the world, just to be I, sure. I know, but it doesn't matter. Ultimately, like, any other fucking actual movie, a movie that flopped in the fucking box office, is still significantly more important and significantly... Uh, you know, uh, more in the public consciousness than like some random reactionary uh, documentary that is paywalled that people can't even fucking see for the most part. And the reason why I mention that is because it's sometimes we get trapped in our echo chambers uh, on the internet and we think that like something is overemphasized because no, our enemy, our intellectual enemy, is saying it is. I gotta disagree with you. Morbius is the top meme in the whole country. Okay, it's like every ad- tweet. Movie. And if you look at the modern. They're not that close off. This documentary is popular compared to something else. Like, uh, fuck, what's, what's something that's going on now that's like... Uh, I don't know, but ultimately... Um, January 6th? Okay, that's, a, that's an interesting comparison. What is a woman crushing January 6th? Yeah, because commission? the January 6th commission fucking is... Well, first of all, because what? no one gives a fuck about the January 6th commission. It had like 20 million viewers. On the first... I don't... Hmm. Google Trends seems to indicate otherwise. So yeah. wait, let's do a different one. What's a movie that just came out that is like uh, kind Top of... Top Gun. Okay, Top I Gun. I mean, dude, that's not even a thing, dude. That is going to be insane. Yeah, yeah, Top Gun crushed it. Yeah, of course it did, because they have millions of dollars, billions of dollars of marketing behind it, and also they are incredibly popular works. But like, I do want to disagree with you to an extent. I think this movie is more popular. Than I mean, if game. you compare it to me, you know what I mean? If you look at a trend like that, then it's going to fucking destroy me, right? Like, it probably is. Yeah, Hassan exactly. Piker. It does. It destroys... So there you go, dude. Yeah, fucking absolutely dominated by Ben Shapiro. No, obviously, do my name. Do my name. Obviously, that is the case. <laughs> obviously, of course, that is the case. Well, they were like pumping out. But they're pu- they're I'm making it seem like stuff. they're, oh my they're God. selling. My name is dead as Yo, fuck. Can I point out that when I searched for Hassan, it said uh, internet celebrity. When I searched for Ethan, it says Ela Klein's husband. Great. Oh my God, that's true. People, what people, the fuck? People, wait, search um. Do uh, what is a woman compared to um, uh, the Trevor Project? I mean, that's like, again, it's not, what is a woman is a universal, remember, it's a universal it's question it, that people are probably no, 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 searching no, no. regardless. It's, oh, well. You can look up the movie. Point. No, what is a, look at, look at the trending before. It wasn't that, nothing was happening. It's obvious in the recent one that. Yeah, yeah no, the spikes are related to the fucking documentary because they're pumping out insane amounts of fucking ads for it. That will change the SEO. But that's why you have to compare it to like actual movies with also uh, uh, that will well, also trigger. Well, Top SEO. Gun is a fu- here. Let me go to Rotten Tomatoes and pick out like a mid-range like art. Everything, art. everywhere, all at once. Oh, well, yeah. that, okay, okay. That's I mean that one's pretty popular. I've heard a lot about it. But go ahead. I mean that's like isn't it everything everywhere all at once? Isn't that what uh, it is? Everything everywhere all at once. Is that right? There you go, buddy. No, no. Everything everywhere all at once is actually way higher. No, but in recent times, well, it's they're close. they're pretty fucking close. Yeah, because they've been pumping out marketing, and everything everywhere all at once is like, uh, listen, it, it's po- listen, is going away. I hate to break it to you, but this is a popular documentary. I don't think it's as popular as people present it. That's people all are watching this shit. Listen, just go to Short King Kindergarten, okay, and see what's popping there. Okay, there's a couple of kings in the room, and it ain't. It ain't the uh, <laughs> Daily Wire guys, all right. And we're ready. I'm ready to throw down on these fucks. <laughs> Two short kings what against is this meme. <laughs> against a bunch of man. Oh, don't put JFK in there. I'm gonna yeah. get canceled for that one. He's gotten enough, dude. He's he's withstood <laughs> enough. enough. All right, we're almost done with this, and let's just let this man dig his grave here. A woman. Well, it's it, for me. It's it's actually a really simple answer, and that's a person who identifies as a woman. But what are they identifying as? As a woman. But, just, but what is that? As a woman. Do you know what a circular definition is? Oh my God, you're such a dumbass. I do. It's sort of like what you're doing right now, where a woman is is a woman. Mm-hmm. Well, because you're seeking what we would call in my field of work an essentialist definition of gender. I think it sounds like you would like me to give you a set of biological or cultural characteristics that are associated with one gender or the other. I'm not seeking any type of definition. I'm just you seeking. You are, you a fucking definition. lying bitch. Yeah, I gave you one.
He he, he gave you one at length in the beginning. Yeah, that he cut over, which you cut he, he, into he, pieces. This so this this is what's going on. The Daily Wire. These are like one of the most popular media outlets on Facebook, consistently on YouTube. They're super popular, and and this this is the kind of media that that a lot of people are consuming, and it's fucking um. It's idiocy, like you said. Ultimately, I mean, it is. It's just plain idiocy. My point was this, okay? They are in, they're, like, physically incapable of cutting, like, entertaining shit. I watch all the stuff, like, Christian movies <laughs> and stuff, uh, ironically, and it's fun in that regard. But this one doesn't even meet that metric because it's just, like, purely rage bait, right? Um, and they're basically doing exactly what they criticize Hollywood for doing, but in the worst ways possible. They're not even, like, doing a little bit of diversity, right? Or uh, they're not doing, like, a little bit of aesthetic conservatism. Instead, they're just making an entire documentary about, like, transphobia, and that's only going to be appealing to fucking transphobes and people that are, like, if disgusting, I were to say that sick I'm little black. freaks like we are that love fucking politics and engage with it all the time. But it's not going to, like, the, the stevedores are not running around being like, yo, bro, you see that fucking Matt Walsh uh, documentary? Yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. Like, no, no one gives a fuck about this in the, in the real world. Yeah, it, it, right. I mean, I agree, but it's just the Daily Wire has a lot of audience. It has a huge audience. No, for sure. And they have a lot of money, and they definitely pump out this agitprop. And they're just entrenching people, you know. It's they're just arming the sick, twisted freaks that really care about this stuff with talking points so they can be sick, twisted, annoying little debate perverts. Ultimately, ultimately, it's just so ironic because these guys are all about personal freedom and, and liberty and all this shit. Why the fuck do you care what these people, how these people want to live their lives? They're not harming anyone. Well, they create this lie that they're grooming children to justify hating them. Yeah. Which, guys, come on. Here's Ben Shapiro. This, is, I, this was one of the best things that happened all week. Fucking um, Fox News ran a really kind of beautiful um, story on a young transgender boy who transitioned and basically the family's journey to learning about tra trans issues and and helping their son transition and it's it's actually a really nice story yeah a, a, where kind of everyone comes out for the best and Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro absolutely lose their fucking mind frothing like literally they were like I cannot believe that there is like a 14 year old trans boy who hasn't killed himself that is unacceptable. We need to stop that. We need to put an end to that right now. Because that's precisely what yeah. they're going to say. You'll see in the fucking thread. So they go, they, uh, Matt Walsh, first of all, tweeted this out. I've appeared on Fox News many times. I appreciate the platform they've given me. If what I'm about to say ruins that relationship, so be it. We have to call this evil lunacy out whenever we see it, especially on our side. Um, this would be absolute despicable and insane lunacy. That's Ben Shapiro. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. Go why, ahead. Why do you guys think that they ran this. I was a little baffled um, by So Fox News has a... So this is, like, uh, one of the local anchors, I think. Uh, oh, okay. And also Fox News has, like, this weird barometer where it's, like, more real news the the further away you get from primetime. Like, they start with, like, normal news broadcasting in the right. morning with the exception of Fox and uh, Fox 5. Yeah. Or Fox and Friends, sorry. Yeah. And then the closer you get to Tucker Carlson primetime, the, the more psychotic it gets. <laughs> they dial it up. Yeah. But it's, it's like the, the tide. Like website. It's like the tide of insanity. Yeah, I get that. It comes in. It's so website. incongruent Fox News, the website, is kind of like CNN. Like, there's a slant. There's a conservative slant to it. But they're, for the most part, doing uh, relatively objective news coverage as, as much as you can. Fox News commentary, on the other hand, is completely a different demon. The op-ed, the actual Fox News that we all know and, right. and appreciate, is is <laughs> a totally separate. Uh, same with polling. Fox News' polling uh, uh, and and data analysis side is actually legit. It's a legit pollster that, like, uh, you know, even the likes of Nate Silver uh, appreciate and agree is like a pretty solid pollster. But the commentary side is what's popular, and the commentary side is the only thing that they're known for. And that is the propaganda arm of the Republican Party. Um, yes. But this is happening in the morning by like a random news crew that uh, decided to post this, and it's uh, pretty nice. I mean, it's a it's a wonderful video. It is definitely perfectly crafted for even conservatives who may or may not have like trans relatives or something like that to understand. Especially it's a really nice It's like a bunch of golden retrievers. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. they're straight up the. The whitest, waspiest fucking family. They're all beautiful. They're Christian. They're Christian. They're conservative. It's a really nice story. Ben yeah, Shapiro had this to say. 
This would be absolutely despicable, insane lunacy if I saw it on CNN or M MSNBC. But to see it on Fox News is a complete betrayal of anything remotely resembling conservatism or decency. Uh, by the way, just to prove, I mean, this this whole... He lost his mind on 1. 1.7 million views on this whole... He no, can, I'm glad that they posted the actual thing because the video is beautiful. and It's uh, great. It the really, video shows yeah. them in a really positive light. The video even openly uh, showcases, like, the family, the parents being like, we're conservative, so originally we were like, I don't understand this, and I yeah. don't like this. Like, yeah. they, they show the journey that they went through, and people tried to sit them down and, like, explain to them how this works and how they avoided the suicide of their child. And, and, of course, because it's so effective in showing the humanity of a trans person and their family, especially to a conservative audience, Ben lost his fucking mind at this. this the crazy thing is, in, the doc, in this short clip, they say, our son was doing self-harm and suicidal. Yeah. And we wanted, we would rather have... A, a live son, a live son and than dead a daughter. dead daughter. Yeah. And Ben's like, fuck these freaks. Yeah. yeah I'd but, rather have a dead fucking daughter. Yeah, no. It, conform it, it, or die. It, it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful how much <coughs> he, he continues. He, froths. He keeps going. Bro, he says, look at how many tweets he has on it, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's you awesome. know he fucking lost his mind, dude. He's frothing. Every element of this video is propaganda. It's dangerous garbage. The report states that this biologically female child was choosing her gender before she could speak. This is madness. The report further states that Rylan's parents began social transition at the age of five. This is child abuse. The vast majority of children who display signs of gender dysphoria desist over time. Okay, so here's the thing. What he's mentioning there is, uh, is a little bit of Martin Bailey, okay? What he's fundamentally doing is like, of course, children at, the, at those formative years uh, don't exactly understand their own gender or where gender is. It's social conditioning, which is obviously the truth that they're trying to hide away from. And in that situation, some kids want to play with fucking Barbies. That doesn't mean they're gay, and that doesn't mean they're trans. They just want to play with fucking Barbies, you know what I mean? Or dress up, or, or play dress up. That doesn't mean they're trans or gay. That just means they want to dress up. But then some of those kids are actually trans. Some of those kids are actually gay. And Ben wants to make sure that those kids cannot be comfortable with identifying with what their sexuality is and cannot be comfortable with uh, and, and accepted in society Ben wants those kids Incapable to kill of themselves. minding his own fucking business. Yeah, he's like, no, I, a, a kid didn't want to kill themselves? Like, oh, fuck that. Government you, you should to. stay out of people's life. Unless it's forcing women to have birth or forcing children to fucking kill themselves. Yeah, it's just... Let them die! It's insane. It's, it's so David. insane. I mean, the Texas CPS law is, like, <laughs> the, the perfect example. The Department of Health, like, uh, in Texas literally has to inform the authorities so parents go to jail if they have a trans oh, child yeah. like thought, yeah you think that's great you think that's a good idea you fucking freaks so keep, wait, keep reading this keep reading this um the report is absolute horrifying propaganda we got mom citing her christian faith to justify the uh the perversion of a biological identity we've got the radical gender theory activist trevor project stats claiming that childhood transition is the only way to prevent suicide that's empirical evidence that he is just straight up going over doing uh, my feelings actually matter more than the facts yep that's true the radical the radical trevor identity project uh the trevor project uh, it, you know radically trying to lower the rate of like lgbt suicide radical horrible acceptable oh my god <laughs> yeah at a certain point it's like it's weird to just be like um, I'm what? actually expressly against St. Jude's. Like, yeah. I can't believe that they're trying to stop children with cancer from getting cancer and surviving cancer. That's fucking bullshit. God, God wanted wants them to have, have cancer. To die. Yeah, yeah, God wanted them to have cancer. This is, a, this is a great line. He goes, I'd rather have a living son than a dead daughter is, again, propagandist sloganeering. There's no credible evidence that transitioning alleviates pseudos ideation among children who identify as LGBT of course but that I made it but up yeah that that's that's actually been proven yes time there's time like again. a lot of data actually it's not even that just, shows he's completely lying about it's not that. even that it is even the barrier that he's lying is so ridiculous because the barrier is is even lower than that it is one accepting parent like one accepting member of a of the immediate family member of a trans person reduces oh, suicidality wow. by a gigantic fucking wow, margin. That's crazy. So like yes, of course, uh, being able to take hormones, uh, hormone uh, 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 puberty blockers, uh, undergoing like uh, puberty blockers, which are reversible by the way. Okay, uh, is is like fundamentally helping trans people. 
Um, it, it's just so so incredibly messed up that they are trying to stop this from happening. It's kind of it, nauseating, honestly. I mean, this no, is violence. It's bro. it's violence, and it's it's actually just nauseating. I mean, he, this is evil. Here's it's the example evil. I use all the time. Okay. It, 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 Ben is not a Christian scientist. He's not a Christian uh, scientist who believes like you need to pray, uh, you know, cancer away or some shit. His wife is literally a fucking doctor. So him making these arguments is so insane because you're making this argument against medicine. Okay, what you are dictating in this circumstance is like, if, for example, if you're if you're diabetic since birth, if you have a genetic predisposition, if you have a genetic condition and you're diabetic, Ben is like, I don't think you should get an insulin pump. I think you should die. Uh, when you're in the room with a sugar cube. You should be murdered because God wanted you to be dead. You should, if you didn't want to die from diabetes, then uh, how about you fix your insulin levels on your own naturally? And it's like that you can't, if you were to make that argument about any other medical procedure, people will look at you and go, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Shut the fuck up. But when it comes to trans people, because of how normalized uh, transphobia is, because of how structured and rigid uh, our understanding of gender is and and uh, it seems like almost infallible, impossible to fucking combat, regardless of what the actual medical science is, regardless of what the actual biological sciences say, uh, that people agree with it. They they completely go along with this kind of propaganda. It's just kind of wild how he's just blatantly lying. He continues, we've got dad talking about living authentically by hormonally transitioning a biological female child, transition that if continued will result in biological sterilization or breast and genital mutilation surgery. I'm, I'm love that he's again. so worried about their welfare. This family became famous in 2014 when that, Ryland, They're doing that other thing again, by the way. <clears throat> every, every surgical process can be, uh, can be described in excruciating and gruesome detail like that. You could do that about everything. Open sure. heart surgery, yeah. you're breaking someone's chest apart, you're breaking their fucking rib cage, pulling their fucking meat, it all has and, and literally effect. handling their yeah. fucking heart. Okay, that is a gruesome process. But if you were to just imagine how thing, badly they want to transition, like they're willing to risk whatever the fuck, you know. But but like, but my point is, you can propagandize every other medical surgical procedure in this exact same capacity. But if you were to do it about any other thing, everyone would be like, "That's fucking psychotic. Shut the fuck up. This is a necessary surgery." Um, so again, he's doing that bullshit there. Uh, this is like the the lineup of all the most like common conservative tropes against uh, uh, you know against like uh, trans uh, trans kids existing. Here's a uh, peer. This is a peer reviewed paper, right? I'm assuming. I yes, see and, the I, and I highlighted the most the, basically yeah, the conclusion called, right there. It's called transgender health. It's uh, the conclusion is that the TGNB youth who reported gender identity acceptance from at least one adult had one-third lower odds of reporting a past-year suicide attempt. That's insane. Yeah. That's how even little support peer, they need in this world. Yeah, even from a peer. And acceptance from at least one peer was also associated with lower odds of past-year suicide attempts. They just need that little amount of support yeah. in this world where people like Ben Shapiro literally are are advocating for violence against them. He wants them to die. Yeah, it's 100% it's true. That is exactly what they're doing. Uh, I mean... If you're if you find yourself positioned against the against a philanthropic organization that's like literally expressly trying to lower the LGBT youth suicide rate, and you call them like a bunch of activists who are, uh, you know, doing gender activism they're, or whatever the no, fuck, they're, like they're you're, spreading you're the gay agenda. Yeah, there's no different than being like, I hate St. Jude's. Fuck those guys. Okay, children with cancer should fucking die. They yeah, are basically. they are an affront to God. Okay, medicine is a front to God. My wife is a doctor. Um, Let me finish his, his tirade. This family became famous in 2014 when Ryland, now 14, was six years old. Mom wrote a book about her own heroism. This isn't about the children. It's about pushing a gender theory that victimizes small children. And this is happening on Fox News where the family is praised for its extraordinary courage in the face of the politicalization of transgender issues. People are afraid of what they do not understand, the reporter says. But we do understand the agenda. We understand that this less is propaganda. Trans, less trans kids. That's the agenda, which is That's what, inappropriate. This is what I was so confused about. He goes, we understand that this is propaganda on behalf of the destruction of children. I don't understand. Like, this is such a half-baked theory. He goes, There's, there is an agenda we understand. It's the destruction of children. Who? I just don't, like, what? Who's pro? Who, who's... Who's advocating for the destruction of children and why? I just don't they get are. the theory. No, they are. No, but what's the theory? It's half-baked. They're saying that liberals, there's a, a, a an agenda 
to on behalf of destruction of children. What is the theory? Why do we want the to destroy is that they're children? They're transing our youth. Okay, that's the theory that they're Why? transing Why? our youth. Why? Why? Um, There's got to be a motive. Overall moral decay, Western degeneracy, you know, fascist propaganda. That's always been the. There's no thing. motive. That's what I'm saying. The whole theory is so half baked. Yeah. There's no, there's no fucking like logical, even uh, aspect to this that could make it even believable. It's like, oh well, we understand the agenda. The and the agenda is that they're evil. It's like, that but doesn't yeah, make that's, sense. That's what happens when your worldview is not grounded within materialist thought. If like, you're idealistic, if you're a liberal or a neoliberal like Ben Shapiro is, um, or a neocon, uh, the, the, their worldview revolves around like an ultimate. The worldview revolves not around like how society is organized around the means of production and how commodities are produced, but instead around like uh, evil people and good people, right? There are good people and they're on my side and they're good because they believe the things that I believe in. And then there are evil people on the evil side who believe in the evil things because they don't agree with me. If and this that's was precisely what there's where this comes from. If this the, was a Marvel movie, Ben and his fans would be like, I didn't find that villain very believable. It's just. His that, motives were not very well, well fleshed that, out. But it is no different. than Their analysis of the world is no different than a fucking Marvel Cinematic Universe understander or enjoyer. It's the exact same fucking concept of, like, there are shadowy evil figures. Now, Ben himself, obviously, uh, is, is no fan of Nazis, considering that the Nazis hate him as well because he's Jewish. Hey, but like, he, he's soft on Nazis these days. Oh, for sure. Yeah. But the point I'm trying to get to here is that this kind of thinking is exactly in line and is nearly identical to fascist propaganda that led to the rise of Nazis in Nazi yeah, Germany. It's like really idea that two-dimensional, uh, you know, moral, yeah. It, yeah. like th this person is evil. That's their agenda, that they're and, evil, and, which makes no sense. And by the way, don't take my word for it. Take Steven Crowder's word for it. He recently, uh, in, in one of his broadcasts, when they were talking about trans issues again, they literally were like, well, this is exactly what led to, you know, uh, the oh, Nazis yeah. actually, like, killing. Did we ever watch that so clip? Many people. You it's should like, pull yeah, that yeah, up. Trans existence is that responsible was crazy. for Nazis. Like, exactly. That was a crazy take. Yeah. When you are in agreement with the Nazis on the trans issues, maybe don't bring that up as, like, a reasonable reason for why the Nazis got so agitated. Uh, ben Shapiro finishes by saying, Fox News is too important to conservatives to be weaponized on behalf of radical leftist propaganda. Propaganda that aims directly at the mental and physical health of children. They should terminate whoever is responsible for the agitprop abomination. So let's watch the clip and see. Like, man, you would think, like, damn, this is gnarly. Yeah. Watch this, this clip crazy. and tell me if this is, this is child abuse, okay? Watch this clip and tell me if this is child abuse. I'll just show you a bit of it. Okay, I'm going to go pee while you play that. 14 year old Rylan Whittington is a typical Southern California teenager. And the Whittingtons, along with mom Hillary, dad Jeff, and sister Brinley, are a typical family. The only difference, though, in Ryland's eyes, is what this family can mean to the tens of thousands of kids under 18 who identify as transgender. We put our story out there so people could see that, like, there's another family out there that is going through what we're going through, or there's another family who's proud of who they are. Before Ryland could even speak, he managed to tell his parents that he is a boy. I could just see it. It wasn't him trying to be a brat. It was, like, painful. It was truly painful for him to have to wear feminine clothing and, and for us constantly telling him that you're a girl. And unlike some trans kids, when Ryland came out at age five a few years later, he had the full support of his parents. Initially, there was some pushback from us in yeah. trying to understand this. We were confused like most people are. We thought that gender and sexuality were the same thing. It took us a while to figure out that those two things are different and that children actually do recognize their gender identity very young. Some of them, not all. But they listened to Rylan and to Hillary's conservative faith. For me, it's just a deep spiritual belief that you believe in God and he, you know, created us the way he wanted us, well then yes, he Wrong. created Ryland just the way he is. They created you how Ben Shapiro sees you. That's right. This really is so nice and I mean, I, I, I'm loathe to give Fox News any credit because they are despicable, but um... This is amazing. Credit? And credit for a nice piece. Yeah, and it's actually where people need to hear it too. Exactly, yeah. That's Which again is just why it I, I totally understand what Hassan's saying, and he's right about the opinion section of Fox News being separate from the newsroom. But even then, uh, you'd think. I agree. 
you oh, know, it's great. somebody in the chain of command would have been like, "No, nah, we're not. We can't. We can't air this." But somehow it went out. Mm. Good. I don't think good they ever head. retracted it or anything either that I saw. No, I mean. But here, the 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 most uh, powerful part is coming up here. And they listened to families. They met in support groups. There was a father who was sitting across the table. He says, you have no idea how lucky you are to be here, which kind of took me back. I didn't at that point consider myself lucky to be there. And he said, you know, our, our child had displayed this gender dysphoria or this gender misalignment at, at, at the same age that Rylan has. And we didn't listen and we pushed back. That pushback led that child to turn to self-harm as a teenager, which 60% of trans and non-binary kids engage in. Dude, that should give you pause. 60% of trans and non-binary kids. No, Van sees that and he's like, those numbers are too low. Yeah. Guys, this is a real thing. I mean, these <clears throat> kids are, are really suffering. <laughs> I mean, Ben Shapiro is a fucking... Monster. He is. He's a monster. He's he is literally really just is. a monster. And but what he Matt saw, Walsh and all He saw a happy... He saw a happy family and a happy trans son, a 14-year-old who's like playing fucking. Nothing made him angrier. With his dad, it's the and angriest he he's been all it. year. Yeah, no, he lost. He's like frothing. He's getting it fucking angry. <laughs> I love this. He goes, "You guys are lucky to be here. I wish I did this because I didn't believe my my child, and now they're dead or something because they committed suicide." And Ben Shapiro's like, "That's what the fuck. That's what the fuck yeah, is that's up." Yeah, gets him going, dude. That's what the fuck is up. Psycho. According to the Trevor Project, more than 50% consider suicide. That for me was the turning point. I didn't want to see Ryland to go through that. I'd rather have a living son than a dead daughter. I guarantee that if we had pushed back and done what a lot of parents do, I don't think that we would have either one of the kids that you see before you here today. Allowing him to, to live authentically and true to himself and be who he really feels like he is. When you get to know Ryland, you see just how proud and confident he is of I mean, look himself. at his mustache, dude. Ryland's That's story perfect. got international attention in 2014 when a family YouTube video went viral. And Hillary has since written a book called Raising Ryland. I never thought that I would be known for this, like, as well as I am. But really, it's just a small part of who I am. He just brushed things off his shoulders. I love like that. How he's like, this is not, like... Yeah. This is a small part of who I am. Like, it doesn't need to define my whole Bro, fucking ultimately, life. Ultimately, ultimately... That kid is expressing what I have heard from so many trans members in my community, which is just like, they just want to exist, bro. They want to exist without people, <clears throat> people constantly debating their existence, people constantly advocating to like harm them, people constantly advocating to stop medical procedures that would help them dramatically improve their lives. Just and, mind and your own just fucking like overall business. Overall, fucking trying to. What happened? Just what happened to minding your own fucking business? Isn't that what they're all about? Yeah, it's, it's not. Just, though. Mind it's your never own fucking business. Conservatives have never, throughout time, ever been about minding their own business. That's why they advocated for, uh, you know, anti-miscegenation laws. That's why they advocated against like abolishing slavery. This is what reactionaries do. They claim like they're uh, coming at it from a point of indifference, but they use that to justify pre-existing social constructs that are harmful to marginalized people. When, when those constructs change for the better, improving the lives of marginalized people, that's when you truly see the real conservative agenda, which is like, no, fuck that. We gotta go back to the time when, when we were actually fucking killing these people. Like, please, immediately, let's do that. Why? Because it, it hurts your feelings. Because it hurts your sensibility. Well, just remember, and every it shakes the way you understand the world. That's so fucked up. Just remember, every time a, tr a trans kid uh, unalives themselves, Ben Shapiro gains a new eyebrow hair. And that's a fact. Peer reviewed. And he moves on in his life and he's just kind of, I think everything we've been through, he's just like learned to do that and he's really good at it. I could never do that. The Whittingtons believe sharing their story could make a lasting difference in another child's life. Something they learned Monsters. from that support group father Propagandist nearly a decade ago. Freaks. I'm just here to make the ride smoother for others. You might be struggling right now, but we believe in you. This family. We might not know you. We might not know where you live. Oh, come on, but, they got the khakis on. Of know, course, Ben lost it, dude. You, and we believe Vile in you. Vile fucking freaks. Yeah. No. Imagine watching that, and your reaction is anger. Yeah. Unbridled no, it, anger. It literally, like it, it is like watching a child like uh, undergo like cancer treatment and survive. And right. Then ben right, being like, right. no, no, they should have died. God wanted you dead. What the fuck? <laughs> like, it, it's crazy. It's Chemotherapy crazy. is an abomination. Yeah. Um, not. I don't know 
if because we are low on time, we're at two hours right now. I did send you that uh, uh, Crowder, oh, the Crowder clip, yeah, 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 right? yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I want to watch after that. I want to watch Shapiro's reaction on the show too, real fast. That's no, that's gonna be really long. Is it? Yeah, it's one. No, it's it's a, wait, 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 wait. It's only one minute for sure. Let's just watch it, okay? <laughs> okay here, just, you. just hold, just, just chill for a minute, okay? Okay. Let's watch. <laughs> what extraordinary courage displayed by Ryland, his sister Brindley, Father Jeff, and Mom Hillary. I want to thank the Whittington family for speaking to us. It's not easy, particularly at a time when fire him, hang this man. You're already pausing. The yeah. transgender issues have been politicized. People are afraid of what they do not understand, Dana. This, this guy is an hopes enlightened their story king, will lead dude. to more understanding, more acceptance, and ultimately, he, more love. Just just pure propaganda, pure insane propaganda. It, people don't, people don't Eyebrows are afraid of what, what if hell. we do understand your agenda? What if we are afraid of is the agenda, because the agenda is garbage, and because it's What's harming children, and because it's deliberately what promoting is propaganda agenda? that is based not in science, but in ideological nonsense rooted in opposition in to Judeo-Christian values. And bro, yes, bro. Judeo Christian values is not science, brother. What are you but, saying? Dude, it's I'm like sure. it's an opposition to science. And, and, and more importantly, it's an and therefore opposition to uh, Judeo Christian values. Like, what, how is that scientific, dog? What the fuck are you saying? I mean, you can't have both. That's ironically kind of postmodernist, I think. Traditions like, and mores and rules and roles. What if that's what we are concerned about? And what if we're particularly concerned when it starts taking over major American conservative institutions like Fox News? If you're a Fox News viewer, you should think very seriously about whether you wish to give a company that promotes yeah. this kind of stuff your business. Yeah. Cancel culture, seriously. baby. I, I, I want to watch Fox News. I'm friends with a huge number of people who work at Fox News, including most of the hosts. Cap, no one's And I know that most of the hosts do not agree with Fox News becoming a propaganda outlet on behalf of the most radical left agenda on this sort of stuff. They can't. There's no way they do. I've talked to many of them, and I know they don't, as a matter of fact. The fact that management... I assume crammed this down or went ahead with this because this was greenlit. It was a fully produced segment, which cost Fox money. It's a betrayal of Fox's audience. It's a betrayal of many of the people who work at Fox. That's awesome. And more than anything, it's, it's a it's a uh, reinforcement of the deep rot that has taken place at the core of our institutions, including in many conservative institutions, which are either too cowardly to defend values that matter. Or yeah, like, joined, he, you you don't want kids wanted, to die, no, coward. No, he he literally wanted like Foxes to be like, fuck this fourteen year old. Like, I I hope he dies, and then like misgender him. You know what I mean? Like that's what he wanted. Because he's a fuck. Uh, but again, he keeps talking about this agenda. What the fuck is the agenda? The gay agenda it's, is, it's is literally allowing uh, gay people to be accepted in society will uh, encourage other people in to come demonstrating out. their own sexuality and experiencing their own sexuality and their own existence in a more comfortable manner and that will lead to higher rates of openly gay openly trans people i would like and to ask terrifying. him bro, 400 i would like to ask him directly what is the agenda like spell it out for me because no, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you i'm telling but you that, what that's not what he'll say that's not what he'll say well i mean that is the reality behind it but his his spin on that reality is you're, They're grooming. You're actually, when you show that, that gay people no and you show trans people existing like this, uh, oh my the reality, God. Well, he looks like an anime There's character. been a, this has been, oh my God, this is so sad. My heart Dude, goes out. Like, yeah, this is when, when Ron DeSantis wins in 2024. Right, yeah. Ben's eyebrows are going to oh. fucking pop off. He's like Super Saiyan, bro. Like, he literally, the more, the more powerful he gets, like fucking Goku. Uh, the more powerful he gets, the more his eyebrows get bushier. <laughs> I'm just sad because I know Looking like how many a Tekken kids character, were harmed what is, to what create those eyebrows. those eyebrows. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tekken, yeah, like Paul or whatever. Yeah. Book. So, okay, one last thing before we go. Uh, this is Crowder's and his gremlins saying that uh, the Holocaust happened because uh, German society was too uh, woke. 16,000 were killed in World War II in general, right? So that's crazy. That's that's. I didn't know it was that high. I, I knew the number was in the hundreds of thousands. I didn't know it was over four hundred thousand that were killed. And by the way, if if any of us could have gone back to that day, can you imagine? Like, put yourself in Saving Private Ryan. You're standing next to Tom Hanks, and you're like, "All right, everybody's nervous. They're throwing up." And you show them a cell phone. Like, man, I really appreciate what you're fighting for today. By the way, in June of 2022, they're going to be doing this, and you show like the kid drag queen thing. I'm like, well, don't you know? Just you could have said this, and we could go to the clip. Well, then we're on the wrong side of things. 
they would have been yeah. like, Tur- turn the boat around. They were turn like, the oh my gosh. Around. Well, hold on a second. <laughs> oh <laughs> like, my God. I didn't see the longer clip. Yeah. Oh, I only saw the shorter version. This is way worse. I know. I, I actually, I rolled it back way earlier because I saw the clip that went viral oh. is coming up. They said, but the full context is actually yeah. so much fucking let's, worse. Let's than let the it ride. He's like, he's right. In a weird way, like, I don't think he recognizes it because, like, this is not exactly taught in schools that the Nazis were also vehemently transphobic. One of the first book burnings, like those famous book burnings that they did, was actually the robust medical knowledge regarding trans people in in, uh, one of the libraries where they had all of this fucking uh, information about, like, uh, transitioning and, and, like, some of the more formative Medical research was eliminated in Germany by the Nazis. The first ever book burning was well, trans material. The Nazis hated gay people and anyone that was neurodivergent at all. Yeah. I mean, gay people were, had their own flair in the concentration camp. So it's not like they were like specifically like, oh, we're not woke. They fucking hated anyone who wasn't like normal, which is un, 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 or normal, quote unquote, which is like straight and white. Yeah. And, and, and you know, right, um, and Christian. And um, and that's a lot like them in, in a way, isn't it? No, it's exactly yeah. like them. And he's literally saying, like, if I was born in fucking Germany, I would be. <sighs> I would have switched sides, oil. baby. Yeah, he's like. I would have switched sides. He said that. Yeah. He said he would fucking turn the boat around. <laughs> I and would, he would agree with the fucking Nazis. Yeah. What more do you need to hear? Well, there's there's a lot more. Like <laughs> if that if I said something like that, oh my god, dude, I'm Turkish. That's way Muslim. worse than America Desert Holy 9/11. Fuck yeah! But conservatives have so <laughs> much leeway because they own patriotism, right? So they can be patriotically the least patriotic you can ever be. Man, if if I was an American soldier fighting for democracy against fascism, I would have dropped my gun, boy. If I saw transgender youth. I swear, boy, I would have, ju- I would have become yeah. a concentration camp guard myself. No, literally, that's what he's saying. Yo, he's like if pa- I saw the Nazis murdering trans people, and I saw, I'd say, give me the switch, boy. That, I'd I, say, I would let me, Hitler. let me work that switch there, Hitler. <laughs> Ooh wee, <Hitler>, dude. <laughs> Look at they this, guys. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we don't believe in everything, but mostly they were right. Yeah, they're like, so look, okay, Pearl Harbor. He just said the Nazis were right. Yeah. That's great. It keeps accelerating too. For yeah. Until until you, Crowder yeah. realizes what they're saying and suddenly does he's like, oh wait 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 we don't we're not. Yeah. What I said I got a ban. These guys are saying I wish I was a de- exterminator in a in a, a concentration camp. No, I love camp. that, dude. I love that. Thank you, thank you, Stephen Crowder, for just fucking putting out this bile every day. Shout Here we go, Susan, Susan Wojcicki, for letting this happen. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's part of the agenda. Yeah. But, uh, there's the Bay Area over there. <laughs> this is uh... take, take that area. We Leave were blaming the Jews. What? It was our fault all along. I can't believe that. This we thought it was the us. Jews, but <laughs> this is actually like really severe. Like I made up these things about the Jews. You're actually doing this. <laughs> You're actually having five-year-olds hand dollar bills into your panties. Wait, hold on, hold on. Pause it for a second. You yeah. know what's really funny? Hitler was a bit of an Amerabu and literally like looked to the Jim Crow South and the American eugenics right, movement right, right. and like took a lot of note from that. Right. Uh, Henry Ford, famous fascist, uh, big advocate for anti-Semitism, uh, you know, uh, but American industrialist, you know, so he's great. Uh, that's that, So it's it's true. The Germans did, at least Hitler, Certainly did learn a lot from America, and I learned it from you, we Dad. Were. Yeah. Yeah, the Bracero program. The Bracero program the during Jews World War One is like, uh, uh, is is the gas chamber like, uh, is the is, like what? Uh, oh the shit! Of cancer, ga- uh, gas chambers. This uh, is chamber. scary, dude. Oh no! Let's say hypothetically, I was only using ten uh, percent so of my dude. power. He's getting so much stronger. No, we can't. He's too powerful. Somebody trim those eyebrows. It's the source of his power. It's just too much. It's too much. All right, let, it's, let's blast through this. We're almost there. We're almost to the, to the yes. capstone. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is too much. They make the Jews sign a treaty like, okay, listen, we will release you on the terms that you are now the uh, Gestapo for all the drag events. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine the, the earnest parts where he's like, he better invent like a better light bulb or something like that. He's like, he better make sure that... The, the trans community can go out and have kids walk the stage with them. You better do something like yeah, that. Yeah, Hitler's just like, oh, what is this decadent lifestyle? 
<laughs> what? I'm going to paint it. And yes. Dude, their bands are the worst. He's like, what is that? Post surrealism? He's like, no, this is real. It's happening. No, it yeah. comes. It becomes this. Look, I, I dress like this, just in drag. Wait, well, he's saying Hitler was, Hitler was pro to this kind what of culture fuck? developing in Germany. Now let's be clear. Let's of course. Wait, that, oh, oh, that's, yeah, that that's was, the yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, that was where back. he crossed the line. Here, even here it is. Even. Here it is. Here it is. Here it yeah. Is. It becomes this. Look, I, I dress like this, just in drag. Well, like, Hitler was in part a response to this kind of culture developing in Germany. Now let's be clear. Let's of course. Defend whoa, whoa, whoa. No defending <laughs> Hitler. Oh, well, you, you are. Oh, yes, you oh, are. You are. Yes, you did. You are all defending Hitler there. Oops. You just are kind realize. of fans. Admit you're kind of fans. He's like, oops, just realize we've been banting about how Hitler was dope kind of for the base. five minutes. <laughs> kind of base. That was you. We all saw it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We all saw it. Let's watch him try to backpedal it. Uh, the only point that I'm we are making. He would jump on board with it because he's an awful. He's yes. an awful yes. human being. Probably the worst in human history. He would have been a self. But. Yes. Hitler would have been a self. Top five. Loathing. Yes. Drag dancer. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what? Wait, I didn't even see this part. This is fucking literally Steven like Crowder. <laughs> right, that's He's him. literally fucking saying he's Hitler, dude. He's a self loathing trans. Cross he's, I don't think he's. I don't think he's trans, but like he's he is a cross, a cross dresser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, listen. First time you do it for a bit, for a little bit of a gaff and a goof, you know, that's fine. You do it like eight times, bro. That's what you like. That's a passion. That's your fucking kink. That's actually. a hobby. That's a hobby. Yeah. Yeah, it's not even a kink at that point. It's just like how you. Yeah, you it's, you, it's you. World. You're expressing your real you. Hitler. Most like Hitler, one could argue. Anyway, yeah, you guys are big. Yeah, fans. and then the rest of it is like them trying to be like Hitler was actually pro trans. Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Can, I wanted to. You asked for the three XL. So. All right. Let's see. This is the women's. Uh... Yeah. By the way, we are we are moving to make everything um, unisex again. Oh, let's go. So okay. that'll be. But let's see how ha Hassan fits in the three XL. Let's take a look here. <laughs> this ain't happening. <laughs> So uh, he is taking oh, nice off. He is Trump taking it off. Oh, our audience is. I like your so shirt. Oh, that shirt's dope. Here we go. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. This is. That's the three XL. Kind of a vibe <laughs> over the shirt. That's dope, bro. Go down a little bit. It's kind of the vibe. I'm not hating it. <laughs> I'm not hating it. I mean, I can wear it. It's just I mean, a it's little low-cut. It's not terrible, actually. I can wear it. It's, yeah. yeah it's just and then like, here, here's the other thing you requested. A little bit. Here. Thank you. What is... Oh, this is the... This you guys just, like, merged. Right? Yeah, I saw You guys that. just did the fusion Fusing. dance. It kind of looks dope from the top up when you can't yeah, see that it... When, <laughs> oh, it's, if it's longer, it'd be... It'd you be remind fine. me of some anime guy who, like, is uh, super jacked and doesn't fit into yeah, his clothes. Yeah. I mean, you stream sitting down. No one will notice. Yeah. True. Yeah, I expect you to wear that. And uh, the, the uh, what, what is that there? The... I hope this, I hope this fit. Oh, you, you, oh, the Teddy Fresh uh, necklace that's like. Uh... Wait, that's the necklace? Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna fit around your neck. We'll see, I, I wear chokers. Okay. Um, I didn't realize it was all wrapped in plastic. I'm sorry about that. I saw it come. Yeah. It comes in this like plastic thing that dude you <laughs> it's literally the strongest plastic on the planet. i don't know what's going on there it's but, hard to take off man but i will say that uh as we wrap it up here thanks for watching oh you know? we should say that um we had to, we postponed the interview oh yeah 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 i'm sorry to um the union a girl from Starbucks who we had, we're going to have as guest. We ran out of time, but we'll have her call in next week. She says no problem. I'm very sorry. She says no problem, okay. and uh, we'll work it out for next week. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I'm very sorry to her. And by the way, tomorrow we have an insane episode lined up, you guys. Do not miss it's a banger. tomorrow's episode. It's a banger. Jesus Christ, banger alert. they wrap that in? Dude, I don't know. It's the most powerful Why are they doing that? of all time, dude. <laughs> It's crazy. Stronger than Ben Shapiro's eyebrows, even. Yeah. Oh I need God. Ben Shapiro's eyebrow power right now to fucking take this off. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I probably did it wrong, though. I mean, no, but why did they come like that? Stickier that, but to protect it. Keep it fresh. Keep yeah. it fresh. Just, it fresh. But there's like a nice bag it comes in. You don't need to wrap it in plastic, do you? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's your company, Ethan. I just didn't know they were doing <laughs> that. I know this. Okay, here. It, it all came off when I like figured out one. There we go.
Okay, hopefully it fits. Wait, how do you? Oh, the, the lock has a little sliding mechanism there. Wait, it does? Yeah, it opens from the, from the lock thing. There's a <laughs> no. There's no like Wait. ear or anything for it. Wait, let me see. Uh oh, they're gonna merge again. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> No, no, go back a little bit, Nathan. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> what would your guy's fusion name? Yeah, what's the fusion name? Hathan? Hathan? Hathan. Go over more where? Awesome. <laughs> no, now, Ethan, you stick out your arm to do the, the weird bendy arm thing. <laughs> Oh my god. This is like when you fuck up. Oh, look at that. Put it down a little bit. <laughs> Does his arm look bad? Not as bad as mine. Uh, so I have, it's I have, similar. I'm this... double jointed as well. Can you do the like, like the thumb thing? I don't know. I don't think I'm double jointed. I think it's just the camera. Thing. This is like when you fuck oh, up the fusion fit? dance. Yeah. Yeah, it does fit. That's good. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for watching, you know. Good time. Vile times, though. But anyway, join us tomorrow. It's Friday. Uh, it's the leftovers, guys. Underground. You will never find us. Ever. Don't try. Don't even try. Don't do it. We got turds. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy. We'll see you tomorrow. It's Friday, baby. Woo! Have a good uh, day. See you later. See you.